Hey Heroes, Galaxy's Edge presents James M. Ward's Crimson Hawk Adventures. And if you could only see the shenanigans that went on behind the curtain as the video played. Hey folks, my name is Walt and this is Sci-Fi Writers playing old school D&D where uh, we take a break from blasters and burners and get to uh, go with uh, crossbows and uh, anything else medieval we can figure, freaking put our hands on. Uh, we are saying hey to KTF Fiend who launches our uh, very interactive chat. Uh, we appreciated them a little while ago and... Uh, uh, and uh, we welcome them back now. Starting, uh, going around the circle, starting with Lord James, Run DM Ward. How are you, sir? Dum 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 dum. I'm very good. Thank you for asking, Walt, my friend. Right. Oh no. Yeah. I see. Every time he calls somebody his friend, the dice do not favor us. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think he's out for you, especially today, since Walt ran an early session to support Mission Twenty Two. And uh, because uh, Walt is James's uh, uh, DM Padawan, James is I, probably going to smite you today, drop a rock on you, push a statue over on you, turn you into a pineapple that spits acid. Ooh, so I haven't Ranger. tried that yet. I'm writing that down. Thank you, Nick. So you mean it's Tuesday? It's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Tuesday, we have uh, Word of Phoenix being played by Sir Andrew Scott. How are you, sir? Good afternoon. Welcome to Dark Times. Hopefully you're all turkey full. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Settle down, Andrew. Settle down. <laughs> <laughs> Levi, the indomitable monk being played by Michael Rothman. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, especially now that I've got my two levels back. Yes! Right, we're good to go. We love two levels back. And uh, not to stop the train, we have the master of chaos himself, Chaos Actual Chrometheus, played by Nick Cole. How are you, sir? I'm wonderful. It has been a day of incredible luxury for me. This is my second D and D session. It feels like day drinking. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of day drinking, we have Damia, who is being played by Siska Smalls. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Thanks I, for having me. Oh, thank you for coming on. And uh, for those who aren't familiar with you, why don't you give us a little bit of history and background, or maybe what you're drinking? Either way, it works for me. I am drinking Flat Rock Cranberry. Uh, it's a little brewery up in Asheville. And uh, because, well, he did mention day drinking, so he started it. Right uh, <laughs> but I am also on a podcast called uh, Sci-Fi Shenanigans, but we're in the middle of rebranding to Blasters and Blades. And we'll be starting that up in January. Uh, I do, uh, I play the Flint Dilly podcast ver uh, game with uh, J.R. J. Parker running it and then I also volunteer and I'm staff at two different conventions. And you are already getting mad shout outs in the chat for people who love your podcast already. Really? So we're post awesome. a link on that. And uh, if you want to go over to Twitch, you can interact with them and, and uh, be wildly inappropriate. <laughs> we it's love like you know me it's already. It's true. Um, now, uh, you used to be in the military as well, right? Yes. I was a 68 whiskey with first armor division out at Fort Bliss. Emphasis right on. on the whiskey. <laughs> yes, most definitely. I got I got a bottle of Writer's Tears for my birthday. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Well, uh, speaking of Writer's Tears, uh, before we start being uh, uh, Molly Womp, Thunder Humped, and Body Slammed by uh, Lord James D.M. Ward, uh, Wardna, can you take us away on the recap for last week? Of course. Another round below. Welcome to the show. We decided to scout an alternate row. In the end, a column tent and friends of Medusa, her head we removed and staggered in the groove. Alas, her golden talking harp is still too heavy to move. You please, rhymed this time? Please oh my tell goodness. me something. Give that man some XP. Sure, that's wow. Yeah, that that is scary. amazing. Andrew, can, can you at least pull out like a lute or like a ukulele? And just <laughs> <laughs> hey, he he, he needs a ring of wishes good. for that one. Wow. That was, that was cool. Yeah, it was really All cool. All right, so, James, go ahead and wreck everything. 
<laughs> Take the heads. Jim, you saw our notes on what we're doing now with the heads as far as <laughs> top and bottom of the uh, stairway to heaven. No, uh, I didn't see the notes on that. When when did you I'll, send I'll those make, to me? I'll make sure to uh, highlight them to you in middle of game, of course. It makes it a little uh, more difficult for some of your super friends to make their way up the stairs. So you put some extra. you put some traps on the stairs then. The we Medusa did. heads, so that if they see them, they turn to stone. Oh, that's yep. nice. Until the head rots away, of course. That's true, but since I'm going to be working on a nice analgesic cream, you know, we'll we'll do the best we can. Uh, you, okay. Uh, yeah. Moved and happy. Okay, so Prometheus, where have you decided to adventure this time? Uh, well, I usually never decide. I try to throw it up into the group, but since you've asked me to decide, I think we should return to where the organ is and inspect the wall, well, inappropriate, and uh, inspect that spot. And then I think that there was a, a room leading away from that that we should investigate, unless it, anybody wants to override me. So, so Jim, uh, you may remember in the chat, I shot you a note that the bard was uh, coming back and available. Uh, she said she'd make herself available to us. I parked my homunculi on top of the harp to keep an eye out and to let me know if anyone came to just say no. And while that occurred, I was hoping my friend the bard uh, would come with me in uh, my typical ethereal nature, uh, cruise down that happy hallway with a stealth chrome, take a quick look and see if uh, she could touch and help drag the harp up. Yeah, no bard, didn't show up. Bard didn't show up? Okay, so I'm gonna write some angry letters to bard school. I know how to do that. <laughs> there we go. So there I have go. one last thing, James. You have to make them rhyme. If you might let us do it. So the Medusa was singing. Yes. So. And she was near the, the thing. So she must have been a bard of some sort, right? No. Then how, how was she around? Well, okay. Because if she was, we could reanimate her corpse and make her move it. Yeah, okay. Zombies don't sing. Well, but she did. But she was a bard, so she could move it. She sang. <laughs> yeah, okay. No. Okie doke. I just okay, very good. That so now, an See, old I'm the lady. opposite of Rothman. I just I don't keep whining and complaining. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. I, I so don't, appreciate. I don't that. hire a lawyer. I just go. Okay, bad calls. No, part of the I couldn't believe he used that against me. And that word is just too smart. He uses the rule books against me. It's just so wrong. I don't use the rule books. I just have somewhat a functional memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so an old lady comes to the castle. And she says she'll tell your fortunes for a meal and a silver piece a piece. Why am does I strike me as you, are you, Am I waiting for you to bring me in? No, you're in there. You're in that okay. castle. You came, you came riding up the other day. You heard about the Doom Seekers. You heard how cool they were. And you really wanted to be part of the group. And they heard about your reputation. And they oh said, my. oh, man, we have to have this ranger in our group. So you're being given special honors and treated like royalty in the castle until you screw up. And, and we need someone to lead the way. And, and then you'll be one of us. And it's day drinking. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Um, I'm going to pass on having my fortune told because that would reveal way too much about me. Okay. Very good. <laughs> Anybody else want their fortune told? Um, I'll go ahead. Okay, very good. So, are you guaranteeing she's going to get a meal? Sure. Okay, and to. and she holds on. I'm not her... guaranteeing it's a good meal. Okay, she's a little hesitant then, <laughs> and she holds she holds out her hand for the silver coin. Okay. And, and now I'm... you're a pineapple that spits acid. <laughs> <laughs> That's, okay. a, that's how James <laughs> does everything. I just want to prepare you. You're not going to end up in the form you started. Okay. Made I've, been, I've been refereeing for 45 years, never turned anybody into a pineapple, ever. <laughs> yeah, because I just thought of it for you. But it's guess what? It's the first happen? time for everything. I guess it's going to happen in, in MA next week to Andrew. <laughs> Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, now that, that is, that's a whole different deal. That's okay. a mutation. That is not a magical effect. And usually it's a mushroom, but I don't know. Doesn't it depend government. on how it happens? And Jeffrey yeah. Dahmer said he was just dating. Ooh, ooh, I hate <laughs> it when you bring up the Jeffrey Dahmer references. Just um, anyway, I'll, the I'll, website I'll could show be worse. They and, could be Lorena Bobbitt references. Yeah. I'll show up and tell the person that uh, payment will be made after fortune given. And when you leave our facility, 
No, she can't because she can't tell the fortune unless she gets the silver from the person that she's telling the fortune to. So I'm going to smile at her and flip up my hand mirror and take a quick look and say, hi, smile. And okay. uh, she's much in your mirror. She's much older and nastier than um, than she looks in real life. But there isn't anybody that says she's evil. And I'll and I'll ask and say, are you looking for an invite for a permanent welcome? Tell no, me I'm not. I, I, I only want I really would need five silver and a good meal. That's why I'm here. Well, I'm good at trail meals. So here's some jerky and some of my wheel of cheese. No, no, no. Um, she wants she wants potatoes and gravy and a nice sirloin steak. She wants a good meal. It's Thanksgiving. We'll shoot something fun. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Right, anyway, um, if you okay. want to let her in, you're welcome to, and uh, we'll uh, visit and uh, watch over. All right. May so, ask, may I ask something, Jim? Before you, of visit? course, you can. Before I turn her into a pineapple <laughs> that spits acid. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, fever's lore and wisdom uh, council features. Uh, is she advising me on this at all? The true nature of this creature. Uh, well, fever just tells you that she's not what she seems. Yeah. Is she evil? No, she's not evil. No, we got that much. Okay. I'll step forward to her and say, listen, you're not welcome here at all because you're not what you seem. But that doesn't mean that we won't work with you or assist you to your ends because we swing that way. So if you'd like to tell us what you're all about, maybe we can help you. So she says, I'm not getting the silver and the, and the meal from the ranger. Uh, I that can't was, speak for the that ranger. That was promised me. But you, but you won't get that silver inside my keep and you won't get that silver and that meal inside my keep. Now be honest and play your cards right and big prizes. Yeah. Okay. She says, I'll be honest. And she turns into black dust and blows away. Well, I think I handled that one. <laughs> <laughs> this can't possibly right, then. come back on us. Yeah, nothing. Oh no, that totally bad happen. could happen from an old lady who shows up and turns to dust after saying something cryptic. Shall, 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 shall we so, collect the collect the dust? I mean, we're not, is there anything you, you want to do with the dust? Well. Yeah. Oh, I'm packing her. <laughs> <laughs> so what, yeah. of, you got the dust. What form of tropical fruit have I become? Yeah, no, no tropical fruit for you, buddy. No but sniffing the dust. When you collect that dust, uh, the the hairs on the back of your neck rise up, and you get a very uneasy feeling. Wait, who gets that? Me? You? The wizard gets it. Yes. Awesome. Wizard loves that. Usually, I pay double for that kind of action. <laughs> okay. okay. Very good. All right. So, hey, are we going down the well? Let's burn the dust and see what happens. <sighs> So just collect it, put it in a container for now. Yep, that's what I did. I bagged it. Word has it does later. that all the time. You're going to really enjoy that. Okay, Back we're going to go daddy. down the well, and we're going to, uh, unless there's some big, you know, uh, black pudding or a giant black pudding or a giant black pudding that's now a tropical fruit that spits acid, we're going to make our way back to the organ. And the looking harp. up, down, and all around the entire way. Yeah. Back to the organ? The harp. The harp. The harp. Oh, the harp. Okay, very good. I suddenly went into Ravenloft for a second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's way too messed up. <laughs> no Ravenlofting. Oh, come I think on. The fun thing is that at the end of this, after James has turned us into all kinds of horrible things and made us have sex with different wolves and animals, which happens, which is a common thing here. One of us in this I'm party single. It's had okay. sex with bamboos. Like, he'll just go, and you were really in Ravenloft the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be fun? Turn to black. Any, anytime you want to go, just tell me. <laughs> it's really hard to get out of, though. <laughs> Not a good time. Okay, so now here's the deal with here's the deal with me taking you right to the harp. If our good friend Word Wordner of the Mapper gets put out of commission, you guys are going to have a very hard time getting back to the stairs because of the. Because of your inability to track maps. Oh, I uh, see. Okay. I, I've taken a screenshot. There you, you go. go. Great. <laughs> yeah. No. <How> meta? <laughs> so there you are at the harp. What do well, you want to do? Uh, James, uh, like before we go down there, is there a remedy to this for us? 
Is there a what? Is there a remedy to this problem for Well, you all could map. Bread Some crumbs. of you could learn how to trail map. Trail mapping is lots of fun. I have a I have an NWP to burn. Could I burn it on that? You have a what? A non-weapon proficiency. Yeah. No. no, we're using that for something else for you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I have I have a dagger of venom. Could I make a tattoo in Levi's? I am back? tracking. A tattoo so, like, on Levi's really back. Doing. You know you could, but not with that dagger. Okay. And let's see. Is there anybody lawful good in that group right now? No. Lawful neutral. Okay. I never play a lawful character. That's Chaotic uh, awesome. Much work. All right. Just remember that when you when you haul out that dagger with a paladin there, you're in big trouble, buddy. Actually, Terry just texted saying, go kill the bad guys for me since I can't make it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Turkey got and, him. And how many how many subscribers we got in there right now, Walt? Um, let's see, we got KTF Fiend, Knight of Barsoom, Lord Daly. Oh, speaking of that, you gotta give me Knight of Barsoom's address. I sent it to you already. The uh, channel, James, right now has 320 followers. It's really growing. That's fun. Uh Walt, I, I didn't get it. Could you please send it again? Right away. Did you send it on Facebook or AOL? Uh I sent it through your email. Still use AOL. That's AOL, Jim. Okay. I'm I'm sorry, I'm Walt. I, I didn't get it. Please send it again. I will. Uh, and Jason. that wasn't very nice there, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> she was hoping yeah. you didn't hear that. <laughs> yes, I'm old. Thank you very much. I'm disagreeing with you. Well, at least we know who the pineapple's going to be. Yeah, yeah, really. She already established I'm going to be a James played D and D when like little baby dinosaurs that you got from TG and Y <laughs> were the actual <laughs> monsters. Could be, shit. yeah. Okay, so you're at the harp. Now you can go south from the harp, or you can go west from the harp. Otherwise, the uh, someone has stolen the tent. The tent is gone. Okay. The tent is gone. So He's you got this harp. harp. So the harp is just standing there in the middle of the room. Set a then. tent up inside. Yeah. So what, what happened was, That's yeah, what happened was a, a Medusa uh, in in a cow looking lovely was playing the harp. And they rushed in and attacked and, and did horrible things with the Medusa, but they couldn't lift or budge the harp. And they're thinking that if they bring a bard into the situation, they'll be able to move the harp. That is their hope. We'll see what happens. Oh. But uh, there's a harp there. And they're, oh, son of a gun, if there isn't a bunch of white bleached bones around the harp, um, there's some dwarf bones. There's some elf bones. There's some there's gnome bones. Well, there's some human bones as well. Somebody's been trying to get at the harp. I'm going to clap my hands and call Spot to me and ask him what he saw. Uh, he, sees, he sees beings coming and trying and just looking at the harp and then trying the, some of the strings and getting instantly killed. Trying some of the strings, touching the strings. You know, uh, stroking over the mm -hmm. strings, trying to emit a sound. No sound is emitted, but they die. Can I get a mic check real quick on Seska? Can you say something? Oh, I, I can definitely. Okay. You're you're the mic. You might want to bring your mic a little closer or whatever. Okay. You're, you're just, a little soft. You're a little far away, and okay, what you're is saying better? is bold, and I and I want that. So. Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's very nice of you, Nick. That's very yeah. nice. I know how to he sweet talk to ladies. Oh, oh, well done. Yes, you, you do. You don't end up with a Nicole by being some chungo who says, look at my Ferrari. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> Especially since he had five rich guys trying to date her in New York. He did. Okay, so here we are at the harp. Are we going south or west or back the way you came? Or are we going to do something with the harp? I feel like there was one entrance, Andrew, to the south. Is that right? Yeah, that's all I show on the map, Jim. Let's take a quick look together as a group and uh, see what we all think of us. There is actually an, an uh, there is an exit to the west and an exit to the south, and you can go back the way you came north. Okay, we never spotted that exit to the west. Yeah, we weren't good enough to do that. So, okay. All right, so I will update okay. the map appropriately on today's map. Um, Very good. The, the dots. Um, but the pillars are the still harp. there. The harp is still here. Um. I'm, Damia, you're really soft. I don't know why you're really yeah, soft. Yeah, da Damia, what you're seeing is on the very bottom, there's a whole bunch of pillars in that same room that had yeah. the harp. 
And okay. we 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 noticed the southern exit. Yeah, we came in through the hallway yeah. above. Okay. And I guess there's a west exit as well. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to add that into the map. Um, Jim, I'm going to take out a pinch of my dust of disappearance and sprinkle it on the harp and see if that works. Oh, well, that's very interesting. This is where friend. Jim thinks up all the ways that it mm -hmm. can't work. Then if he can't, then you get to have it work. Okay, begin by making a, a magic resistance throw there, my friend. Oh, right. Roger that. Yeah. He can hurt you first. Indeed. Uh, actually, a 15, so it's a good holiday compared to blowing every single one last week. So that's not Okay, bad. you think you think that something deadly almost got you. So it was it was reacting to me. Did uh, did my dust still have the desired effect? No. No. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. So this is like okay. the that, that damn eye of the god thing. We don't want to mess with it. <laughs> right. So, so I was going to... I have put Vecna's eye and Vecna's hand in the dungeon just for you guys. But we already got the eye, so we're good. No, well, we, we, we hid the eye behind you, a wall. Right. Yeah, you hit no, that. No, no, the eye, right. The eye oh, is that's hidden. right. No, you put it in a box, didn't you, Andy? Right. No, no, no. I thought, last thing I remember is we stuck that in Lehman's chest. Okay, so. but it, it wasn't Vecna's eye. It was some right. other eye. It's, yeah, it's his uh, evil, evil brother who we don't really like. That's probably <laughs> by Becca. And, <laughs> and, you know, that tells you a lot about the nature of where that eye has been. So. There we go, yes. Hopefully um, okay. nobody's sticking any weird eyes in their own eye sockets. Uh, I can't wait to let sure Weird that. eyes anywhere. Just for the record. Yeah, if you if I lose one of my eyes, I'm gonna want that eye. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Yeah. So funny. We'll take it up in committee. Um uh okay. So hmm. uh, uh, so we can't hide the thing. Uh and we don't have the bard. So I think we're gonna have to leave it because sense to be killing yep. everybody else. So let's let's just say no on the harp. And um what a great idea. I support that plan. All right, let's uh, head to the south then, Jim. You want to? Okay. Oh, so look at keep, that. Keep in mind okay. the overlay of going south. Okay, yes, you you, you come to the, the hallway that's south of that room that you're in. Up, and, down, all around. And a 20 feet tall Etten, two-headed giant, appears and says, where did you guys come from? Where did you guys come from? TV Guide. We're here to uh, actually do surveys on most of the people who are listening to the music in the other room. And since <laughs> you stopped playing, we figured you'd want to take the survey. I like yeah. that Jim. I like that Jim made both heads speak. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take ten experience points for that. You may have them, sir. Okay. Um. So yeah, the the giant. Uh, just is looking at you guys. It's got a great big club. The club looks like it could do tremendous damage if it hit any of you. And uh, the monster is uh, 15 uh, feet tall. 15 feet tall? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to tell him uh, this is our dungeon. We built a castle above us, and we're down here surveying everything that's ours. Or we could just kill you. Or you could just kill me. The Etten says, fine, your turn will be coming soon. And the Etten walks away. I don't like giants. Who does? Who do? Yeah, but I think it's actually my racial thing. So, you know, favorite we will, enemy. We will continue on south. Okay, very good. <laughs> Which way Unless did he walk? Well, he went south just a little bit and then turned east. Okay. So uh, leaving the room, how far down the hall did we go? Eh, probably uh, 15 yards. And then there's an the east corridor and there's a the south corridor. Okay. Um, and so it, it's, break, it's breaking off uh, as a T going east. So yes, sir. So the other side of the T is south. And the, and the Etten went to the uh, east corridor? Yes, sir. Roger that. Okay. And we're going to continue south. Okay, okay very good. Wait, why can't, why can't we follow him? Do you want to go bash his brains in? We can do that if you want. She's a giant slayer. She wants to. All right, we're here to have fun. Go yeah. have fun. Kill that giant. Well, I don't really gonna... think we should let him just like run away and not tell us where he's going. You want to hunt him down? Watch Publishers Clearinghouse? Nobody wins, but okie dokie. Let's go. I know better than fun. to watch Publishers Clearinghouse. I have a <laughs> meeting to do. 
So, uh, you're, so you've decided to go east instead of south. Yes, sir. Right. Yeah. Okay. You go 20 yards and a set of stairs magically appears to the north and the stairs are dark. Are they up or down stairs? They're upstairs. Good question. Upstairs. But they're magically, as in they just appeared in the wall? Yes, sir. Um, just as you walk by, they magically Can I appeared. see if there's any footsteps on them? You know, track? No uh, footsteps, but I'm good question. I'm suspecting this is going to teleport us somewhere where we can't come back from where we are. Oh, come on. Pineapple do, land. Do we have... Do we... Uh, do we... Uh, um, sense any of the usual this is a thinny platform teleporter butterflies music tinkling symbols things that aren't right well i think the i think the hint was it magically appeared yeah that's all you got i was buying that hint too yeah i flick a coin through it what happens uh the coin disappears in the darkness perfect can we continue to the east well of course you can Avoiding the, avoiding the stairs. Yes, if that's what you'd like. Does it look like the giant went that way? You have no way to tell. I have tracking. But, but yeah. I have tracking too. It did me no good. Yeah, great. It does you no good. No, you have no way to tell. But if you were a giant and stairs magically appeared, where do you think you'd go? I'd go around. Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> Viva Las Vegas, indeed. I know exactly where I'd go. <laughs> A world without COVID? And so... Um, or the DNC. All right. So you guys are, are voting. <laughs> okay, voting. I know that you guys heard that. That was pretty good. <laughs> KTF Fiend is saying it's a Stargate. What could possibly go wrong if you go through it? <laughs> yeah. Very it's well not said. round! James, Very well said. continue to the east. Yeah, okay, fine. There you go. Uh, we go... 10 yards and then turn south okay. and we go south uh, 20 yards and we can go east again or south and you might see oh there's a glow down south if I ask um, Beaver to do her thing what does she sense uh, that's a very good question good old Fever says there's magic down south but she's kind of worried that it might be very powerful. <laughs> James, you gotta stop. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's uh, what she said. Siska's making me laugh. So, all right, now you're good. Go ahead. So, based on what we um, know of our original map, uh, the overlay makes me worried where we are. So, let's take a quick look at that. So, here's our original map. Um, and so assuming the distances are right, we are right about over here. Is that somewhat accurate? I'm looking. And this is two floors down, right? Because there's this extra staircase. I said, yeah, no, that you are, why aren't you anywhere? Well, there's the secret door. Okay, just a second. So hang on, here's our map today. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're further over. You're, when, you, when you went into the pavilion room. Yeah. You kicked over quite far. You kicked over yeah. okay. a good 60, 70 yards. So on um, on the beholder map, then we're over here. I, I can't see any pointer when you do that, Andrew. Oh, you don't see the cursor. I do. I, I do. Shoot. In the, in well, the share. You might not be seeing it. It's it's small. Yeah. How about now, Jim? I made it a little bigger. No, I'm sorry. You I don't, don't see, see it. it. Okay. Hmm. Would, we, would we be about three squares right of the beholder's Far wall. That's a fair question. And our buddy, the beholder. Looking at is... the map. So can you see our map, Jim? Do you see the map? With the I can see the map, map, yes. And I can see the, okay. the where the where the Anubis statue is. And I can see where the stairs down to the beholder are. But you guys are way over from that. Right. And we're asking, are we three squares over to uh, the east of that beholder room based on? No, you uh, aren't. Oh. The the behold room is east of you guys right now. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then I'm I did something wrong. So I'm okay. We shall uh, figure it out. So if I go to <coughs> something, I say there's magic down there, but you're concerned it's too powerful for us. Yes, it's it's she's positive that it's very powerful. 
Okay. But but too powerful. She's yeah. She says it's very dangerous, and she and she gives a little cough. <laughs> but we have Wordna. Awesome. Uh oh, that's me. <laughs> let's let's move to the east then. Yeah, I guess so. That seems we're moving to, be to the path. east. We're ignoring this thing to the south. Well, I'm I'm listing magic glow. We just tend to. All right. Not benefit from. So we're going. Uh, we're going forty yards, and then it turns southeast. We shall turn southeast. Okay, sounds right, good to on. me, my we're friend. Stepping over the railroad tracks here, and we're turning southeast. This is a curve. Yes, it is. It's a. It isn't curve. It's a straight line. Okay. Southeast. And out of the east comes this 14 foot tall stone giant. Uh oh. And he has a magic glowing club. And he says, What are you people doing here? Well, this is my castle, and I own this down here, so we're investigating it. This is not your castle, and soon it will be owned by the stone giants. Why? Because. We want all the treasures that are here. You, you clearly didn't read the memo and you haven't looked at the new landlords. You <laughs> obviously didn't get a copy on any of that. We'll tell the postmaster that. But in the meantime, you got to go. Um, and he turns around and goes. Um, what, what grounds do you lay your claim on? Well, I'm afraid he's ignoring you. Oof. And leaving. I can shoot him with an arrow. You could. <laughs> could I? Really enjoy yourself. We're talking uh, armor class zero. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. You get two around, so you got we, better we, chances. We usually in this game we usually play. If you announce you're going to do something, you no. Do I'm it. asking Prometheus. Should I shoot him with an arrow? I would go. say let's let's figure out what's going on first. But we're definitely going to smoke some giants. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There'll be some smoking going on. That's for sure. Mm. All right, James. We I will, love smoked meat. We will follow. Uh, we will follow the corridor. Okay, so the corridor goes to that southeast, and it goes about 10, 20 yards, and then there's a corridor that goes northeast, and the southeast corridor continues. We will continue along the southeast corridor. All right, and can we tell which way the stone giant went? No. Got it. These giants are fast. Oh, they, they, they are, are fast. fast. Well, they're, they're giants. <laughs> um, you hear some singing off uh, behind you. From the way we came. Yes. We're going to ignore it and continue to the southeast. Okay, very good. Uh, why do I worry when the DM says very good? Uh, you should, because that's how James, that's when James is happy. When he, when we do good, he's like, oh, I really hate that. Yeah. Okay. But, but otherwise, I just enjoy every second of it, which takes us. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna, you continued. You decided not to go northeast. You decided to continue southeast. Yes, sir. Correct. Okay. And the corridor down gets, under. The corridor gets four feet wide, and so it shrinks down to four feet, and it goes south. We will continue south. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm thinking our giant friend didn't go. Four feet wide or how tall? Four feet wide, and you can't see the ceiling with your with your continual light coins. Okay. I thought you said height, so I, I got a little concerned. I understand. Because I'm not a midget. And you come you come into a circular room, and the, di the, the diameter is uh, about 30 yards, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine statues. Each statue has a little bowl in front of it with with gems. <laughs> Let's ask Fever to tell us all about those gems. The Fever can't sense any gems in the room. Illusions. Look Whoa. down, up, uh, up, down, all around. Yeah, okay. See? You can't see the ceiling. And you Do see, I the, see the ceiling? No. Let's see. Uh. 200, is it 250 feet? 240. Okay, so that's that's 60 yards. A little bit more than that. 
About 80. Okay. You, you can't 80. see the ceiling. 80 yards. I do not see the ceiling. Okay. No. Are there any exits in this room? Yes, there are. Good question. There's one to the south. Okay. What kind and of statues are these? The statues are all um, humanoids with mm -hmm. animal heads, but they're not Egyptian. Do I recognize the animals? Mm, there's a bear head. There's a raccoon head. There's. I a, hope you win your little D&D game, honey. Raccoon. Yeah, you know raccoon. I know what yeah. a raccoon is. It's just normally not one that people uh, make idols of. Oh, come on. <laughs> they had nothing Rude. to do that day, so they made oh, a Can raccoon. you give me the nine? Bear, raccoon. No, they're just random animals. Are they I'm all not predators? Important to, not important the, to the story. They, are they that's all right. predators? They are all predators, yes. Okay. So there's a lion head, there's a tiger head, there's a don't ask me what these are again head. <laughs> is, is there any treasure in the room according to Fever? Yeah, uh, no, he says there's no treasure in here whatsoever. Okay. So we got some illusions going on. Well, you haven't tested the illusions, so you don't know. We don't know that there's statues there. If if there's no uh, no, you know jewels. you see the statues, and of course, oh, we see the jewels too. But you you know, fever is telling us otherwise. Warden takes out his stupid mirror and looks at them, uh, so to see if they reflect, and they do reflect. Oh, okay. Wow. What if Wouldn't I have a little petulant there? I love when that happens. <laughs> what, if, what if I pour some wine in my eyes? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you see when you pour? Everything looks to be like natural. What do you mean natural? In other words, you do still see the gems and you do still see the statues. Okay. I mean, he's not made do, of silicon. No. Do we do we see the ju jewels in uh, Wordna's mirror reflection thing? Yes, you do. <sighs> I'm gonna, and, or you could go south. I'm going to approach the statues. Yes, okay. Um. I'll move into the center. Okay, but then you're then you're at least fifteen yards away from each statue. Okay. Nothing happens when I move into the center. No, sir. Hmm. Guess it's not all about the center. Hmm. And they're all faced inward. Yes, they are. Okay. Can I? So, hmm. If this were a game, you know you have to like twist them around in some form that you know unlocks a magic passage or something. This this isn't a game, Michael. <laughs> oh well, yeah, a, a computer <laughs> game of some kind. Ah, oh, yes. Well, it's definitely not a computer game. So, asking Fever for her wisdom and lore regarding this, what does she say? Uh, she says this is just deadly stuff. Leave it alone. Deadly stuff. Interesting. I'm starting to like Fever's opinion on this. <laughs> <laughs> um, Fever, by the way, uh, is a is a magical artifact sword that uh, that Chrometheus has been working on now for for almost a full year, and it's got fantastic powers. And he knows that no matter what happens, it can't be destroyed. Oh, that's it. Uh, it's uh, it survived a nuclear blast. You should touch one of the idols with it then. And, and once a month, he gets conjugal visits. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> All about those, man. Yeah. Um. <laughs> is, there a secret, is there a secret door in the center? You should poke one of them. Or. One of the statues or the gems with it. Yeah, well, do what the ranger says, Nick, and poke one of those. Uh, is there a secret door in the floor? <laughs> no, sir. Pokey, pokey. I'm going to step outside the circle. Now, what do you mean when you're going to step? You're going to go back the way you came? Yes. Okay, so you are outside of the. You're in the five foot corridor. Oh, okay. So, oh, so are they kind of lining the wall? They are lining the walls, yes. Okay. Oh, the statues are lining the walls. Yes, sir. So they're in a big so circle, sort of. You can see that the hall continues past this area. Yeah. Right? Yes, absolutely. It goes south. Is that wider going south? No, it's five foot wide, it's very narrow. Anybody have a small gem? I got plenty. Um, what do you want to do with it? Here you go. Uh, I'll, give him, I'll give him a 10 GP gem. What gem are you giving him? Uh, uh, my catalog list, if you go to page 11, 
uh, lists all the gems I have, and I'll start with a, um, a 10 GP gem. Uh, you didn't answer my question, young weird, no? What gem are you uh, giving? A looking it? one. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I don't. They're they're not classed by type. At the low levels, you only give me types of gems for the expensive ones. Uh, okay, you you're gonna have to pick a name, buddy. Just a, name a, one. A chip Emerald. of amethyst. How, how about a how about a small agate? Very good, thank you very much. What color? Uh, yellow black. Pink. Okay, very good. Yellow black agate. All right, so oh, there you in your hand right now, Nick is is a yellow black agate and and uh, uh, fever says throw that cheap thing away. I'm gonna. About right. Okay. Well, I'll go to the first statue on the right, working. Which my would way be the way. bear statue, bear head statue. And I'm gonna flip that gem into the bowl. Okay. And and you feel a tweaking in your hair. And you are positive whatever you want, you can once turn into a bear. Hmm. Hey, I could do that with gorilla now. So, hey. Yeah. Yep. You're awesome. What's the next statue? And that is uh, how you play uh, D&D. Now you're going to make me write these down, you bad guy. <laughs> well, no, let's, 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 let's not, but you know. I got I to gotta <laughs> tell you, right after you uh, got the word about the bear, Captain Kilgosha hit us with a sound, one of the sound alerts, and it's like, and that is how you D and D. That is how you D and D. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. if I take another gem and I go to the next one, where are you getting the gem? Well, from my buddy Andrew. Yep. He hasn't said he's given it to you yet. And Andrew's got lots of chips. Him. Chips. I've already, stuff. I've already given it to him, so we're good there. Okay. No, that does, does anybody want to try or do they want me to keep being the guinea pig? I'm totally game with you being the guinea pig. Okay. Yeah, I'm <laughs> uh, I'm fine either way. I got plenty of gems and uh, um, so, Okay, uh, how about this? I would turn to the wizard and say you're smart. This just happened. What's going <laughs> on? Um, uh, spellcraft looking at him. Does it look like he has a polymorph function or, or an illusionary function? You're They're looking both. at Prometheus? Yep. Yeah, okay. Fever doesn't let you check him out. All right. All right. I'm going to buy a vowel then. What does doesn't let him check you out mean? You wanted to see if, if it was one of two things, and you didn't get any indication whatsoever. So Fever is attempting to mask what I'm seeing. Not attempting, succeeding. succeeding. When, you're, when you're looking at Nick. When I'm when I'm looking at him, uh, that's what it looks like. Yes, sir. Okay. I'm more concerned with, you know, obviously I, Andrew and I are communicating. I'm saying I'm more concerned with I took a gem and I put it in the bowl, and now I feel like I can turn into a bear anytime I want One using time. those data sets. What's going on? Um, well, either the gem is power or it's embedded a power in you, or it's an illusionary feature since your blade doesn't detect gems. I'm saying- um, using Looking in the bowl, do I see yeah. the agate in the bowl? No, just a bu bunch of colored gems. Okay, but I don't see the specific one I handed him. No, sir. Does- do I believe- uh, Sorry, go ahead. Well, oh, I was gonna say, does Fever, detect the uh the the little gem the agate uh because she had before like, does, like, like oh i you, see what you mean sure no, drop beaver, off her radar beaver does not detect that gem so it's vanished from her radar yes and i think ours. one of you should take a gem and try another side. i'm gonna try i'll try on the other side on the other side okay um you get the feeling that anytime you want, you can turn into a giant skunk. Wah, wah. See how, <laughs> so are, are there are there any statues with cool animals? Are there any pineapple statues? You got you got you got lions. No, pineapples are predators unless hey. they're on pizza. All right, all right, yeah, I'll 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 borrow an an agate from uh, Andrew and uh, go to the lion statue and flip, you know, from a distance flip flip a 
flip an agate into the lion statues. And you feel record, like I was nice and didn't make him identify all the statues. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I, I wrote them all down now, so I know which ones are which. Wait, and, uh, skunks aren't predators. You said they were all predators. Skunks aren't predators. No, you are. You are incorrect, young lady. Skunks are predators. Under what biology degree? Under my crimson hawk magical degree. <laughs> Okay, so that takes us to you did the lion there, yes. Michael. Yes. Okay, and you feel like anytime you want, you can turn into a, a lion. Mm. Is there? Is there... On his pillow and give him pink eye. Yeah. <laughs> Is anybody else want to try? John, oh, magic user. Ron, bad mojo, my friend. Nah, -uh. leave I'll the whack holes to This time, can we find a cool predator? You're gonna do another one. Why not? Okay. Which one you doing it in then? I don't know. What which ones are available? You still All got right. a tiger. There's a, there's a bear, there's a tiger, there's a horse, there's a lion, there's a squirrel, there's a raccoon, there's a rat, and there's a skunk. Oh gosh, I'm torn between the squirrel and the tiger. I know it's terrible, isn't it? I want to know about the horse predator. <laughs> I don't care about being a horse. I'll leave that to one of you guys to become. No, I'm good. I can sort of become what I want. So, are you, oh, Warden, are you giving I'll her? With the tiger. There's so many bad things that could be said. But... Do you yeah. have enough gems to give all these people? I'm pretty loaded for bear. So, yeah. Okay, very good. Loaded for bear. That's good. Mm. So, which one are you doing there, um, Demia? <laughs> I'm going to do the tiger, please. Very good. Okay. So you toss the gem in the tiger and you turn into a 10 inch long black ant. Uh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that, that means we don't, we don't use too. those words on our channel, young lady. <laughs> well, we just we just go. That wasn't in the briefing. We pop out that wasn't in the briefing. I like that. That's very funny. All right. Drop, drawn. Uh, starter with remove curse, and then we'll we'll go up the food chain if the black ant doesn't swap. I uh, yeah, I I hit her with the remove curse, and she turns back into her pleasant self. All right, so I'll explain to her. Black ant is an angry uh, god effect on us. We've got a lot of ants, and uh, they're not always where you expect them to be. So sometimes they throw shoes with, at us. I think you have to <laughs> stick with skunk for now. Yeah. Let us let I'll us part on people's kit pillows and give them pink eye. Let us move. Let us move on to the south. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very good. I love when that happens. <laughs> so you go um 15 yards. The the passage is five feet wide, but you go 15 yards, and the the passage widens east and west to uh, 10 yards. Okay. We will continue on. We have to choose Easter West. Oh, oh, so yeah. so we hit a T? Yeah. Let's yes. go West because then we might circle around and meet the other areas. Okay. So you go you want to go thirty yards west and the passage goes north five foot wide and you hear singing. And the passage uh -huh. goes west. Um Wait, fifteen it, it continues uh, west. Does the singing sound like the singing we heard behind us earlier? <laughs> yes. Ahoy, Naven. Rule 61 hey, on page like 63 the of the DM's again. guide says no, that you're wrong. Not her. Oh, okay. Do we think it's lining up with the magic glow, or are we still on the short side of that? No, it is lining up with the magic glow. Okay. All right. So at least we're mapping correctly. Well, let's take a look at this magic glow. Okay. Seems, well, seems we're coming like... in from below it now. You know, seems... women pay a lot for creams that will do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, so it goes up 30, 40 yards. And then, oh, what just happens there? You mean the That's passage goes up 30 or 40 yards? Yes, yes, oh, yeah. it goes up five foot wide. And then it turns west five foot wide, 10 yards. And then you have a choice of north or south five foot wide. And you hear the singing from both directions. Hang on now. All right, so... Hold on. Well, we're definitely going to meet the Sint Mass Singer at this point. <laughs> definitely. Okay. So this is how we started. This was uh, Medusa Room. Came yes, down. Yes, yes. Yeah, magic good, Staircase. Good, good. We said, just yeah. say no. Yeah, yeah, Came yeah. down. Hit the T. Yeah, perfect. Didn't magic say no. So far. Went here. We took yes. the Southwest. Ignored yes, the yes. Northwest. 
Yes. Came down to statues one through nine. Yes. Came down again to the T. Uh -huh. Went this way. Okay, so and you went over that way. Just a tad. You, you should be one square back from where you are. Okay, so we're not at the same point where we saw this corridor right, that led to the right. magic flow. We're yes, one sir. over here. We're one yes, over here. One over there. Got it. That's some good mapping, Andrew. Thank you. It Take is some experience. very good mapping, actually. In fact, give yourself 50 experience points, Andrew. Right. Hey, I should get it, maybe. I should get some experience points, too, Jim. Yeah, if you ever do anything decent, you will <laughs> what? get some points. Damn. So, so Damia, Nick, Nick is our Susan Lucci of d and He always asks for D uh, uh, XP, but he never gets it. No, oh. he gets it. He just gets it in little dribbles. <laughs> what? I remember brother once who did that. He managed to kill the entire party and then fought for the XP to for it. Mm, there we go. Hey, I wanted um, to say uh, thank you to Captain Kilgosha for gifting a tier one sub to Sergeant Handley, who is watching. Yeah. Oh. So oh, Ray, not. that's wonderful. Thank is you. Is that our much. Sergeant Handley or is it another Sergeant no, Handley? No, it's our Sergeant Handley who is uh, hey, watching Hey, everybody, the JR. We all miss JR. JR is awesome. We totally would never replace you with Siska. Never. <laughs> <laughs> JR is much more organized than I am. <laughs> yeah, we don't need organization in this team. Um, James, I, during the week, uh, shouted out to you that I bought some ear, some wax. You never responded to it. I, 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 did you do it? my AOL account or my Facebook account? No, in our in our chat. Okay, yeah, I'm sorry, but yeah, sure, as much wax as you want. Sweet. I, I'm you thinking we're going to be using... Still, apparently. Say again? I'm saying he uses AIM, AOL Messenger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I oh, that brings that. back, some, that brings back yeah. some memories. So, James, I think we'll go to the <laughs> south... Wait, we are coming from the south. We oh, can either go from the south. north or we can go west. Yes. Let's go north. Okay, very good. And then we come to that. So Suspend do we, I was going to say, do, do we want to prophylactically uh, put wax in our ears in case we're... No, affected? I'm sorry. That didn't happen, young man. Hmm? Suspended in the air is a set of flowing text. No matter where you stand in the chamber, the magical text faces you to be read. There so, are four so statues the that look a lot like mages in the room. So, so what, the, the what northern corridor the opened up into a room. Does yes. it connect up? Does and the room up? is, good question there, Andrew. And the room is uh, 40 yards by 40 yards. And does it connect up to that northern hall that is now one square removed? Yes, sir. Same and is this where the singing is coming from? Yes, sir. And where is it so, coming from? It's coming from the words suspended in the middle of the room. What are there any other doors? Are the words, like what language are they in? We'll start with that. Uh, they're in common. Okay. James, I'm putting wax in my ears. I was going to say... Do, do, do we have enough wax to uh, dole it out to everybody so uh, we can you all do, do so who isn't putting wax in their ears okay everybody gets wax in their ears uh, tr trust us last week we had problems due to sonic issues with yeah. what the heart was doing so th th this is this is a oh, good no, I I'm smart enough to know if everybody else is putting wax in their ears I probably <laughs> Okay, hey, that's great. Continue. Wait till we start sticking things up our nose. Thank as God long you as it's not where the sweat, it's not a magic bullet, and we're good. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> uh, uh, now, uh, word, no, you're the only one who has a magic resistance percentile roll, right? Correct. Okay, so you can start by trying to make that roll. Great. Now you're all pineapples. Yeah, it's not looking good. Pizza. Pizza the Hut. Zero seven. James so you, Bond time. Oh, that's really too bad. Okay. So you're fine. Everybody else, please make a uh, turn to stone roll. Great. Uh -oh. Which dice? 20? 20 sided yeah, die. It's, yeah. It's, uh, it's petrification. It's your PP roll. I made it with a 15. Very good. How about Walt? One! Oh, Our new thing won't roll the one! Oh. oh, no, that's not good, dear lady. 18. I got a 10. Easy. 
I need a different dice. This one hates me. I got a 10, and my petrification roll is a okay. 10. Spoken okay. like a true player. I need new dice. This and, inanimate object. Okay, so I only turned one into stone then. I turned the, the newbie into stone. And... Time to advertise those Paladin dice. They still aren't sponsoring yet. What's the matter with I'm those? What's the deal with I'm that? Dice. When you need to make a save, Paladin dice. Yeah, exactly. Oh, by the way, I got Luke um, in and March that to be our guest star on our D &D. Friday game. And yep, he will he confirms he will... that and is good to go. And I think we're going to be live on the stream, too. Yes, we will. We'll be live on the stream, too. So but you can turn him into a pineapple. I, I can. I've turned him into things before. Um, okay, so, hey, um, let us start with uh, the leader of the group. We can't. She's turned to stone. Um, and Big John isn't here. Okay, word note. What do you want to do? I'm going to, uh, well, tell me a little bit about uh, the wizards. Are they floating? Are they standing? Are they, tell me a little bit about it. They're, they're pointed, they're pointed towards you with their, their ring fingers. So are yeah. they alive or statues? I mean, these are, they, like... they appear to be statues pointing like this. That's the ring finger. Right. And giving us the. No, not the bird finger. No, no, no. no. The ring if they're pointing with the ring finger, they're pointing like this, Jim. See? Okay. Well, whatever it is, it's one of their fingers. It's all the same <laughs> finger, and it's pointing at you guys. And was um, that when we were forced to make the save? You don't know. Well, uh, you gotta give but us I have to find like... out. I have to find out what everybody does first. So let's do that okay. right now. All right. And, so, where don't? Uh, what do you want to do? So the first question I had was. Um, Looking at them, uh, the spellcraft, does it look like they cast a spell or is it a function of the statuary? Do it I, looks like they cast it looks like they cast a spell. So it was um, a verbal somatic component. Okay. Now, well, Andrew, then, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Does your familiar get your magic resistance safe? I get its magic resistance. As long as it's touching me or I'm within proximity, I get its magic resistance. Correct. Okay, very good. All right, so um, you looked at the wizards to see if they were casting spells. That's what you did in your melee round. Uh, okie dokie. Okay, that takes us to my good friend, Prometheus. I close my eyes and pull out my uh, bandana to tie them around my eyes. Okay, that takes us to Levi. Okay, um... I go invisible. Okay, that takes us to Drawn. I am going to dispel magic on the effect for uh, to uh, return Damia to her regularly scheduled program. Okay, yes. you're you're positive that won't work. Oh, it won't work. Yeah, remember we know that. I got the ring, so I can use a charge on her. But let's okay. let's uh, clean house a little bit first. All right. I would so, throw that dispel magic at the wizards. Or so drawn. Okay, first of all, you shouldn't be giving advice, young man, because you did your turn. <laughs> right. I apologize, Jim. You're so right. That, that was on me. Sorry. All right. So I think drawn, he was yelling at me. Nick. No, I wasn't. Drawn. What? What do you need to do, buddy? I. I. You know, because he. Uh, what, because they're already enacting. So I'll cast the spell just in case. So, on which one of the four wizards? Um, Jerry. Yeah, A, Gary. B, C, or D, wizard. <laughs> Only, Naven, rule 61 yeah. on page oh, 63 man. of the DM's guide yeah, let's says that you're wrong. Name them A, C, D, C, wizard. Let's A, go. B, C, or D. Let's go so A. 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 Thank, you very, thank you very much, A. Uh, JR just played the soundbite where you go, ah, ah, uh, uh, page 67 of the DM's guide. <laughs> <laughs> That's They're our buddy. really not that good with the DM guy. Okay, so that takes us to my good friend Weirdna, who now makes his magic resistance save again. Again? Well, magic resistance and then a save if I choke. Yes, exactly. Got it. Oh, damn. That was very impressive for a second. It's double zero, so... That's well, that does call. not sound good, my good friend. A natural no. double zero, James. <laughs> yeah, right. really. So that we're was... going to be a minus two on this next save. Oh, that sucks. Oh, but I have a plus four on my save, so I'm only plus two then. Okay, very good. Giddy up. Okie dokie. All right, so I need a seven. Eleven. All right, you're fine, which takes us to Damia. 
Wait, okay, so I'm, He's not... already oh, no, I'm sorry, you're already stoned. Never mind. Maybe you want to turn her to stone again. <laughs> that takes us to Prometheus. No, don't ask for that. Remember what happened last time. Yeah, I know. I I could have swore I turned you to stone twice, but so, anyway. So Prometheus, Prometheus, make a save. Who who is blind right now? Yes. Okay. And wax in his ears. Yes. Mm-hmm. Prometheus? I'm looking at my save. Do I have any pluses? No. And it's against uh, per- uh, petrification? Yes. yes. CP. Nope, I fail. Okay, you're turned to stone. Takes us to Levi. I got an 11. Okay, you're fine. Takes us to John. Do I get a save or an action? You get a save, and then you'll get an action. I make my save. Okay, very good. So now, we have two important people turned to stone in this room. All right? And we're going to start with Weirdna. Let's see what the group wants to do. Knowing that every melee round that you're here, you're going to have to make a save. Yep. It's that kind of a day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, JR. <laughs> JR's just like throwing out sound bites like crazy. <laughs> Maybe he's having too much fun. What do you think? It could be that he's can not you, on the receiving end. Yeah. Um, Jim, can you tell me the approximate locations of the individuals in this 40 by 40? Of course I can, my very good friend. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? Okay. Um, in all the four corners. They're cornered. Okay. Yes, and you notice that there are, there are, there are, uh, there's a quarter, go- a five foot wide quarter going north in the middle. Well, uh, um, so there, the wizards are in the four corners. Yes. What is what is the five foot corner in the middle? In, okay, in the middle of the nor- north wall, there's a five-foot quarter going north. Yes, okay, right. So that, And in the that, middle of the east wall, there's a five-foot quarter going east. Didn't have that one. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, Drawn, let's even the odds a bit. I'm, I'm going to start with uh, uh, transmogrify on the north wizard. What are you turning him into? Um... Uh, I'm going to turn him into a small water chestnut. Okay. I would have said a shrubbery, but you know. No, I don't like want that. something that can fight anymore. Nothing <laughs> happens, Andrew. Nothing happens, weird now. That's not good. Takes to Levi. Uh, just for grins more than anything else, since I'm doing I'm um, here anyway, and I'm uh-huh. certainly not going to attack hand hand to hand with these guys. I'm going to throw a blessed, uh, I'm going to ignite a blessed uh, flask of oil and toss it at one of the wizards and turn them into a flaming chunk a of torch. stone. Wow. Well, roll to hit. Armor class zero. What is my... Wizardry is zero, too. Yeah, okay. Impressive. So, 14. I got it. Okay, very good. It, it turns into... Oh, wait a, a minute. Wait a uh... Is that true? Hold on. I don't know. I'm uh, close zero. No, I miss. Okay. So there's a great big fire in one corner, and it's getting yeah. very smoky. John, what would you like to do? I'm going to smash one of them. With what? A hammer. Okay. Is it just a normal hammer? No. It's a magical hammer. Mm-hmm. Hammer smashing. Let's. You it's can talk. Hammer. It's okay. We're here to have fun, young lady. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, smash it, buddy. Let's see if you hit. Armor class zero. Um. Yes, barely. Okay, and you smash it into a thousand pieces. Cool. Okay. Now the room has now become very smoky, and we'll begin with our good friend Weirden again. Please make a save, um, of against magic. Is it a save or do I start with MR? You, it's magic resistance first, yes. All right, I'm one for one, one for two. I know you've been very lucky. Thirty-one. So this time I'm on the board. All right, very good. And that takes us to drawn. Uh, smash another one. No, 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 oh, no. Saving throw. Yeah, their turn. Oh yeah, easily. Okay, 
And then Levi. 20. Made it. That sounds wonderful. Okay. So now it's all of your turns. Let's start with Wordna. Clap my hands. You've been Wordna struck and Thunderlance, one of them. One of the statues. Mm-hmm. Okay, you destroy it utterly, which okay. takes us to Levi. I'm going to take... Wow. Uh, the smoke is very bad now in this room. All right, so what, what, one of the remaining statues I am going to take, uh, pull the bow out and put put two arrows in, in, into it. Bounce, bounce. bounce takes bounce. us to drown. Right. Smash another one. Okay, all the statues are now destroyed. And that takes us to our good friend, Weirdna, who makes his magic resistance throw or not. <laughs> Even though the four statues are gone? Yes. Got it. It's the text. Okay, what are you doing there, metagaming, my young friend? <laughs> you said we could speak. Oh, yeah. And, okay. and, Word, and Wordna and I can communicate through the sword. That's true. Because she likes uh, me. Uh, and, and, and I should get experience points for calling her a she instead of a he. <laughs> Just spell magic against the text. Okay, so we're, whatever we're, works for the two of you. Yeah, I know. For, exactly. we're, we're like that. 14%, so I make my MR. All right, very good. Then I can't do anything to you. What about Levi? Uh, let's roll again. See what happens. Uh, Fourteen. I made it again. What about John? Easy. All right, here we go. We have two guys turned to stone. Yep. We're oh, no, being forced. Thrust, thrust, We're, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. <laughs> we, we have. We have. Uh, we have two guys turn to stone. We have make we're being forced to make magical saves every single melee round. So well, let's start with the word now and see what he would like to do. Let's discuss real quick, James, though, the room one more time. What's left in it? Yeah, of course. I'll be happy to do that. Uh, okay. So big room. It's uh it's uh about <laughs> thirty-five yards by thirty-five yards. You you haven't walked around it yet, so you don't know the exact. But in the middle of the north wall, there's a five-foot quarter going north. And in the middle of the east wall, there's a five-foot quarter going east. There's four destroyed statues um, in the room. And then there's these great big words floating in the air in the center of the room. And there's sound coming from those words. Yes, absolutely. And, so north and, corridor, east corridor, and we came from the south. Yes. Jim, and, is that correct? You guys know you guys came from the east. Oh, okay. <laughs> and wow. two, two we of us, yeah, we didn't. We came from the south, Jim. We came oh, well, up the south. Okay, passage. then I told you wrong, and you really came from the east. Okay. And um, James, I, uh, I and Cisco were turned to stone. Yes. Despite lack of vision and lack of hearing. Yes. So. I'm going to ask the sword, even though I'm turned to stone, I'm still mentally telepathic with it. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm having a big problem with that. Uh, okay. I, I can understand that, but I'm just, I'm just positing that the sword is an artifact. Okay. It, roll a six sided die on a five or a six. You can talk to the sword all you like. Nope. Okay. Then no. Okay. Word now. Anel Nefra, Uthras Bethel, Dostrio And what's it do? The spell magic on the text. Okay, that's fair. I'm at sixth circle now, so that's uh, as an 11th level magi. The text vanishes. Okay. And four, what are they? They're red. The four. Four gems fall out of the sky. <laughs> it's be a, four, four star rubies. I knew at, it. At 5,000 gold each, appear floating above. The piles of mage stone. Spellcraft yeah. looking mage at them. rubble. They're definitely magical. Okay. Um, I'm going to walk over to Chrome um, and say, uh, Mr. Freeze, and use my ring and turn him uh, human again. Or elven again. Half elven. Okay, that's good. And you're going to get you're going to get 400 experience points for um, getting rid of the words in the air. Okay. You also notice that the words are starting to reform. They are. Um, okay. Um, 
So now yeah. Chrome is Chrome is okay. Chrome, you have to make a uh, Constitution save. Okay. If you roll a high number, you're unhappy. Uh, percentile dice. It's if you roll a high, check, right? He's doing yeah. system. Yes. If you roll a high number, you're unhappy. Zero four. You're ecstatic. <laughs> I was a little afraid it was going to be zero zero. Yeah, that would be bad. Okay, and what about what about the ranger? Uh, still turned to stone, but I'll lay my hands on her and do the same, uh, uh, and I'll uh, fire up the same uh, incantation. Okay, now you're using your ring, right? Mm -hmm. No. Oh. Okay, and, and how charges. many charges did I say that ring had? A hundred. <laughs> let me, let me add, right. I was there. <laughs> I added three, and so I'm using up two out of three. Okay, very good. That's good to hear. And now the first sentence, the first, no, not the first sentence, the first word in the sentence has appeared again. James, right. what does Fever tell me about the gems? <clears throat> they're wonderful gems. He, he isn't quite sure if they're magical or not, um, but he, he wants you to toss one up on your shoulder. She, she wants me to. She does, yes. All right, I toss one up on my so shoulder as I grab the other three and move for the exit. Okay, which one? The north exit or the east exit? Let's go with the one we came from. East exit. Okay. And you're out. And Andrew has, has saved the life of the ranger. Let's make a constitution, uh, not a constitution save, that's system not the proper term. A system check. Don't roll <laughs> high on percentile dice. Okay. What's your constitution, Damien? Um, let's see. <laughs> Constitution is 16. So that's a 93. Below that. 11. All right, very good. Steer so you turn, back to, like you turn back to flesh? You turn back to flesh? Yay, I'm soft and squishy again. I know, isn't that great? <laughs> and, and, so now the first three words are finished on the sentence. All right, let's all book out of here. Yep. Booking, booking, booking. I'm taking a look around as I walk out for anything invisible. Nothing. All right. We'll leave. So, so here we are. In the but corridor, I asked the sword, is the effect, <laughs> if I put it in the sheath and give it to you, the same as if I put it on my shoulder? No. What if what I put if it? I, what it, if doesn't I put really, it, it doesn't really like these gems. Oh, okay. It says they're dirty. What does that mean? Oh, my. He just says the the gems are dirty. She. Um, yeah, I'm I'll sorry. She. Thank you very much, Michael. I'll ask Chrome for one of the gems. Yeah, I'll just distribute it. Secrets, and I'll cast identify on it. Identify. Okay. It will prevent one bad saving throw of being turned to stone. Hmm. Woo. Or you can sell it for five grand. Okay. No, Ooh. we need that saving throw. Is that <laughs> are all four gems the same? They're all doing that function? Yes, but they have to float on the shoulder to work. So it works like an ion stone, but it's actually a single shot. Yes. Okay. And only used if you fail your save. Right. Uh, exactly. Okay. So why do I think everybody but Damia is getting one of those right now? What's yeah, that? We would, we would share those with her. There's only four. Well, we'll, we'll make sure she gets one. As, as the leader, I I'm sure, kind of going in the front. Yeah, I make sure everybody gets something before I do. Okay. So, so that's, that's everybody, good. Can, everybody can pop a gem on their shoulder. That's good leading. Or you can, I remember, you can always sell it for five grand, too, for experience points. Nah. Okay. okay, Andrew, could you show us the map? Yeah. No, sure. Jr. is the one who likes to sell things for XP. Yes, yeah, he does. He does. Um, no, I'm having Chrome keep one as well since he took uh, them originally. I do not need one. Uh huh. Oh, that's right. You you have an amulet. Okay. Um, I am right. I am proof against petrification. I don't know why I was saving. That was dumb. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Except, okay. okay the only thing wrong with that, he it's, had us coming in from right. the east. Right. Originally, we came from the Originally south. Originally, it was from the south, so that was right before he made that meta correct. So I'm not sure where this corridor. Why did I have corridor. you come from the south? 
goes. So has been directionally challenged. Jim, just a quick note. So this is the room with the. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. This is the room with the nine statues with the questionable carnivore heads right here. Yes, 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 yes. We, we went south. Then we went east. We had another T junction. We chose to go north. We had uh, a, a <sighs> west option. We didn't. We went north again, heard the sound, came into this corridor. You moved us over a single square. We were lined up with this room originally. <coughs> hmm. uh, and that's how we got there. So, okay. so Andrew, I think the the problem was is that he he probably meant so where you have the uh, the corridor going north, it was probably north, but to the right of the actual room. So his connection would have come had us come in from the east. Yeah, that follows. Yeah. Okay. So, so, so there is an unexplored south and a uh, north, which I guess brings us back to where we came from. Yes. Okay. Is there still that passage going west from the southern? Uh, wall. Yes, sir. This is still here. And then do we have the secondary, the tertiary one here? Yes, sir. Okay. And so does this one connect up to this corridor, the curved, uh, what was the southwest corridor? No, it ends 20 yards in. So okay. basically, J James, if what, what, what Andrew was showing, if that corridor that goes north-south was just shifted to the right a bit and connected to the east side of that room, it would be accurate. Uh, I think what what Andrew has is, is pretty accurate right now. It's accurate enough so that you can come back here when you want to. Okay. <clears throat> so let us go to the west. Very good. So you go west and so ascend. The first one or the bottom one? The first. bottom one. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. You really want the first one? Yes. Nope. nope. Oh. Okay. No. We'll go, we'll go to the bottom one. Okay, very good. Thank you. So you go, you go 20 more yards and a set of stairs appears in the north wall. 20 yards in. Uh, appears as in like wasn't there and then suddenly is? Or Yes, it, yes, exactly. Uh, and, you another. Can, and you can continue west. So it's <laughs> another one of those, let, let's toss a coin in and see what happens situation. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'll, I'll toss a copper in. in the there. coin disappears right. in the darkness. We'll um, taking a quick look uh, through Razor's eyes, any chance I see another coin on this staircase? No, the Razor can't see into the darkness. Cool. I like that he's the Razor, so I can also ride him like a scooter now. So I get him. <laughs> yeah. You already have a dragon you can ride like a scooter. That's true. Hammerath is awesome. Okay. Um, uh, anyone want to take the stairs, or are we going to continue walking down the corridor? Let's take continue corridor. walking down the corridor. Okay. We're going to take the corridor, please. All right. And you feel a, a jarring nausea, and you're in a great big... You appear in a great big room. Up, down, oh, and all around. Um, there is a, there's a big kind of tower in the middle of the room mm -hmm. and uh, with a great big door that appears to be made of gold. Gold? Talk gold. dirty to me. Can you yeah. tell me the size of the room, Jim? Oh, man, I'll tell you. It's, it's very hard to figure out. It, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, like, it's like a cave. It isn't, there isn't nice smooth edges mm -hmm. on it, okay? So it's at least... 90 yards north and south and 80 yards east and west but there are exits uh there are five exits so there's one in the north there's one in the northwest there's one in the west there's one in the southwest and there's one in the southeast. And this tower is in the middle of the chamber. And it's quite tall. It's at least three stories tall. So we're no outside wind. now? What? We're outside now? No, no you're not outside, outside the cave. Yeah, you okay. guys got you got teleported. Okay. Well, that was which, no, which which we Gary didn't. did all the time, just so you know. <laughs> no, we, we did not get teleported. I'm afraid you did. 
Oh, we did. So we're out. We're in a cave. We're in. Right. Well, you're you're in still in the dungeon, which right. I probably shouldn't even tell you. But okay. you're in another whole place. So the nausea was the teleportation. Yes. Yeah. Where uh, where's the gold door? It's in it's in uh, it's in the south side of the tower. So we have been in the elven side, and we've been in the dwarven side, on the commensurate other universe. And yes. I'm assuming that we were able to notice differences in construction. The dwarven side was much more caves. The elven side was much more rooms and things like that. Yes. Does this bear any resemblance to those those areas? It's been all caves, but it's been very short corridors. You were experiencing long corridors in, in the cave area, in the dwarf area, but these are very short corridors. Okay. Does Fever sense any treasure in the tower? Oh, that's a very fair question. And your answer, my good friend, is... Good friend yeah. is that. Um, he says there's a gigantically magical bow there. I like those. There's a there's a coffer oh. filled with platinum. And he <laughs> says there's some magical robes in there. Where, where this golden door is? Yes. Let's go. Okay. Those are the passages. You've done an excellent job. Now you like robes. Okay. I'm sorry. What did you say, Michael? You said it was 90 by 80. Yes. Okay. Let us approach the golden doors. Okay, there you are. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what we're looking at. Um, okay, big golden doors, at least 30 feet tall, 20 feet wide, um, blood, dried blood splashed everywhere. On the doors. The engraving? On the, door. on the doors and on the doorstep, yes. Are we engraving? I'm sorry, what was that question? Any engraving. Engravings. No, Except no, just just glowing iconic. smooth gold. Um, no, no handles. Because it's a cave and it's dirt, not stone floor, tracks on the floor with tracking? No. Good question there, sir. Thank you. Have have nine experience points. Good job. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, I'm rich! Thank you. <laughs> it's all part of the cheerful service. Uh, the blood is splashed on the door. Mm -hmm. Can we see any prints on the door? Fingerprints? No, good, touch? good question though. Paw prints. Can't the wizard just knock it open? I, knock. Able to. I don't know if he brought that spell. I'm yeah. sure he did. I brought a lot of harp crazy spells to, to kind of wail on this thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, no, I can smile at it a lot. Um, I, I can, can memorize poke it with my bow. So, my bow. Um, Let me ask this question, Jim. Are there any windows or doors in the tower on the upper levels? No, sir. What is the surface of the tower like? It, uh, it's just like black stone. Anything and the stone isn't cut nice. It's like big boulders that were put in place. So does it look like giant or known construction? It, it could be giant. Yeah, it could be, could giant. be giant construction. And now, okay. now, oh my goodness. Now you hear lovely singing from the center of the tower. Uh, and does it sound like the singing we heard before? It's a female voice. No, this is a female voice. She sounds lovely. She's she's singing a love song about a lost love that she's waiting um, to Return Is she to singing her. this in common? The common tongue, yes. Okay, the uh, door, will the gold scrape off of it if I oh, take it? Oh, you know, speaking, I'm very glad wave. you remind me of that. Nobody can hear that singing because you all have wax in your ears. Good. Um, James, okay, can, can I, I climb? Oh, go ahead. Can I take my uh, a dagger, belt dagger, and see if it, any of the gold flecks off or impressions? Well, you you scratch the gold; it doesn't fleck off. Okay. Do we see windows or any uh, areas above on the tower? <laughs> no. You Can said it, it was of made. Of, you said it was made of rough boulders and stones. Yes, the tower is made of rough boulders. That should be fairly easy for me to climb. Should yeah. be really easy for you to climb. I won't even make you roll. I'll climb it. Okay, so you get to the top. 
All right. Please make a, a stone to a flush to stone saving throw. Mm-hmm. Even though I have wax in my ears. Yes, it has nothing to do with sound. Okay. It has to do with groping all that stone. I fail. Okay. He, he, he falls to the ground. I'm, I'm not going to, because I love him like well, a Hold brother. on, I have that gem. He doesn't. He has the gem. Oh, you have the gem. The he gem the turns gem. to dust, and you see a Medusa at the top of the tower. But this is a huge creature, and uh, it's, it, everything is uh, large and nasty. Okay. So this I'm, is a giant Medusa. Yes. I'm just going to climb on back down. Okay. Huh. There's a giant Medusa up there. <laughs> aren't you gl- aren't you glad you had that stone? I really that am. Good. Andrew's a better leader than I am. <laughs> so how far up is that Medusa? I mean, it's three story. stories, so it's roughly uh, 15, 15, and fifteen. So it it's sounds like forty-five yards to me. Can you so, polymorph it? Well, yeah, we can. We can do a couple of things to it. Um, we'll go up together. I'm going to cast. I wear my sunglasses at night on Chrome. And uh, I'll uh, grab him under his arms and then uh, uh, say, one express elevator to hell. Going oh, up. that's irritating. And we will uh, levitate our way up with gaze reflection. And um, uh, I think we're going to give her the deep fry so I can bottle her too. Well, we'll see. Well, what is our uh, uh, subscribers saying these days? Um, everybody is welcoming, uh, Shadow the Illustrator, who was on the earlier stream. She's in the chat now saying hi. Oh, Um, nice. Um, we have, uh, everybody saying that, uh, in the previous universe, there was a lot of drumming. In this universe, uh, there's a lot of singing, and there's some (laughs) speculation that in the next universe, it's going to be all taxidermy. I'm thinking brass. I'm thinking trumpets, you know, some, uh, French horns, that kind of thing. What are we, the Salvation Army now? Exactly. (laughs) That's for sure. I absolutely have to put a red kettle in the, in my dungeon now. Um, so you go up to the top with the boy. How long is that that uh, that I can't turn you to stone spell last? Um, uh, gaze reflection. Uh, we got a good long time. Um, hang on. It lasts one hundred and twenty minutes. No. No. <laughs> That's impressive. I now, think- if, if you want to lie to the referee, you can, but it's never a good idea, is it, Nick? No, I would never lie. <laughs> so I've, I've, got, I've got a blindfold on, and I've okay. got blind fighting. So. i got a turn and a half, Jim. Okay, so that's 10, five, 15, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, just under 15 minutes. Okay, very good. So um, there you are on top. You see the Medusa. It has no effect on you whatsoever. Uh, well, I assume she has to make her saving throw for specification looking at us. As a matter of fact, she doesn't seem to be making any type of saving throw. Got She's it. glaring at you, and the, the snakes that are python size are um, lifting their cowled heads and thinking about spitting poison all over your bodies. Well, Brian, it doesn't seem like we're going to be doing any business. Um, all right, let's fry her. She's Dame Fenster. Okay, that you cast that spell. Um, Prometheus, you doing anything? Uh, how 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 has he got a hold of me? Or how, how are we? I lifted you up, so you can either stand and fight, or you can uh, jump onto the wall or the the flat surface. Um, she has you by uh, under the arms. He. 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 Word now. And we're levitating there, and and uh, yeah, okay. Um, um, um. I'm gonna stay right where I'm at with my eyes closed. Okay, very good. You have that to takes... have your eyes closed. Your gaze reflection. She can't zap. Yeah, you. she can't oh, zap you. Okay. So, Damia, do you want to do anything? Um, I have blind fighting. So we're still outside the tower, right? And on the ground level. And on the ground, and they're seeing that. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I have a blindfold. I'll tie a blindfold because I have blind fighting. So that's better than um, being uh, turned to stone. Um, okay, that, that takes your turn. Dron, what would you like to do? 
Uh, I'm gonna cast bless. Now I think I think the two up top are too far away. Hmm. That's forty yards. Well, that's all right. I can what? cast it to the people who are around me. Okay, uh. so that's that's Levi and Adamia. Okay. So all your rolls are plus one now, both of you. All right. So question: What what is the distance on bless? It's uh thirty feet. Well, we're within thirty. The tower was only thirty feet tall. No, sir. You you didn't hear me. I said the tower was forty five yards tall. Oh. Roger. I'll change that. I thought you said thirty. I you thought you said three, three stories, which would be Yep, I got it. Fixed. Okay, so hey. Um that takes us to you two up on top of the tower. If you give me your your uh, poison resistance thing, I can go in and fight it. But if I go and fight it with no poison resistance, those pythons are going to get me. Well, shouldn't so, you like have other people with you? So my my poison yeah. resistance is built into me. We're talking about Prometheus, Damia. So, <laughs> so, so wait, 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 wait a minute. So, so I haven't. Uh, if if putting a blindfold on was going to uh, eat up a turn, then I was just going to close my eyes. Uh, because I was yep. going to use my bow from down. No, you ca you can't see her. You can't see her. I can't. She's in the she's in the middle no. of the tower on top, so that's forty five yards away, and then it's in the middle of a tower. Okay, so I'll, I'm gonna you you know close my eyes and climb up so I can see. Well, you can't have a bow when you're doing that. I can't. No, you can't. No. See, even Damia agrees with me, so that that must mean it's there for sure. So, what are you okay. going to do, there, Levi? Before. So, whose whose turn is it right now? Levi is considering what he wants to do now that his great plans have been dashed to shreds. So, so I, I I guess I don't have a good visual of what where where she is relative to where we are. I thought we were all kind okay. of in this tubular tower. Yeah, okay, so here's the, here's the deal. So you're you and and drawn and Damia are at the bottom of the tower. Right. The tower is 45 yards tall mm -hmm. with crenellations around the top of the tower. Our our friend Weirdna is floating outside of those crenellations. And our friend Prometheus is standing on top of the crenellations, but you can't and they're shouting Medusa, Medusa. Actually, they're probably shouting um, they are probably showing greater Medusa, greater Medusa, but you can't see the creature. Because, you know, a greater is so much easier than taking it out a regular one. You should do it by yourself, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so, so I guess the question would be is, can I climb to a place where I can <laughs> be on my feet and, you know, and get a sight of, you know, or be within range of the Medusa? You would have to climb to the top of the crenellation and stand on the crenellation. Okay. And I don't have a problem with that. Are you going to do that? Sure. You can't do it with your eyes closed. Why? Because I say. <laughs> but I'm a monk. I, I've got like superpowers. Uh... Do you yeah. have a, a climb percentage? Yeah. I'm okay. Up. Roll them bones, buddy. Uh, okay. And it, oh yeah. With a, e with a plus one. E e easily. Okay. So you're up on top of the crenellation. Now you're standing there with your, you're not looking at the Medusa that you know is there. Right. I, I, I'm sensing her through my closed eyes. Sure. Takes us to John, my good friend. Uh, anyway, up through the center of the tower. Well, you have to open the door to do that. Uh, I open the door. There's no latch. How are you opening it? Um, I'll kick it. Willpower. You'll kick it. Okay. Your foot bounces off. Let's give you one hit point of damage. Hmm. Which it takes us to toe. Damia. So, okay. Um, pushing the door didn't work, right? I don't think anybody pushed the door, did they? He kicked it. That's not the same as pushing. Okay, I'm going to try pushing the door. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. And does it open? No, but a giant blade comes out and does 11 points of damage to you. God 
damn it. <laughs> James, you're supposed to be nice to the guests. I'm, that was nice. I could have killed her, but I didn't want to because she seems pleasant. See, so, you have that going for you. Seth. Fresh blood. Oh, I seem pleasant. Is, Yay. <laughs> flesh blood is spill, has spilled all over the door. Oh, that was the first hint there. Yeah. Which I takes us to you. our good friend Weirdin at the top of the tower. Okie dokie. You don't need to be so confrontational. These aren't the people you're looking for. Okay, and what does that do, buddy? Minus five, charm monster. Okay, doesn't seem to charm her at all. No, Takes no. us to Prometheus the Bold. I'm two, over two, Chrome. Whacker. Two arrows, each poisoned with cobra venom. Okay, it goes right, cobra venom. Have you used up that yet? No, that was the toxin. The cobra venom is what you got me with the first time in the two giant chests where you put all the fake money later. Yeah, okay, so how much How much of that do you have left? A gallon. We have two, we have two bottles. <laughs> I have two bottles of mine, and he has the bottles he extracted that I gave. All right. The arrows go right through the Medusa and hit the crinolation on the other side of the tower. That's unfortunate. For a Which second there, I thought he to... said that he coated his his stuff with COVID-19. I was like, dude, that's yeah. badass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> I don't think you did that, though. Okay, so Levi, what do you want to do, buddy? I know, with all that well, I'm using my dragon bow and using the force, um, you know, going ahead and aiming and uh, sending two arrows downstream. Okay, they go right through her body and hit the other side of the tower, which Somehow takes us to Drawn the Holy. Um, are, we, uh, are we inside of a giant cavern? Yes. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um Mm. Well, you've been walking around caves the whole adventure. Yeah, but you so know, surprise, teleported. Surprise, surprise, you're in a cavern. <laughs> well, Tele you did teleport us. Yeah, I did. Teleported and, and giant towers and Could all have that. Could have teleported us somewhere cool, but no. Yeah. Oh, I, listen I mean, to this girl. You don't <laughs> yeah. think you're in a cool spot? <laughs> Just you know, for that, I'm not going to give you the gold that's on the door. It doesn't have a view. I'll say that one. Uh -huh. I, mean, uh, I have a view. Can I climb? Can I? Since I can't get in through the door, can I climb? Everybody else is doing it. Sure, let's go. <laughs> okay, if roll roll a d6. If you roll a six, you're unhappy. I love being unhappy. A four. Okay, you climb right up to the top, which takes us to Damia. I'm going to go up. Climb you're up. going to climb up too. Yeah. Roll a d6. If you roll a six, you're unhappy. Three. Okay, very good. You're all the crinolation at the top. Now, John, what are you doing for being turned to stone by a Medusa? Uh, lower my visor. Mm, why would that do anything? I don't lower it all the way. I just put it in front of my eyes. Okay. In other words, he's not looking. All right, Damia, what are you doing to not be turned to stone? I already have a blindfold on. That's right. You did blindfold yourself. Yeah. Okay, very good. That takes us to Weirdna. Like a frightened turtle. <laughs> okay, and what does that one do? Reduce. She doesn't seem to be reducing. All right, so uh, uh, let's think about this for a second. Yeah, we got this. Okay, now yeah. this is using uh, up your melee uh, round. Never mind. mind. All right, never mind. All right, okay, oh. very good. Prometheus, what would you like to do? Pour wine in my eyes. Okay. <laughs> Disbelieving. I think Prometheus needs some eye drops. Yeah, really. All <laughs> right. Uh, you know, you still see her there, which takes us to Damia. What would you like to do? Okay, so is it just her? There's the pythons, right? That's you her can't, hair. No, no. Don't anybody tell her. You can't see. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. Wait a minute, I, I thought he could see. He's got gaze reflection. Uh, uh, yeah. uh, Damia yeah. is taking her but, turn. Ah, 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 you're right, 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 right. Got it. Okay, so I'm going to jump off the crinolations with my long sword and uh, what's it called? And uh, dagger. And I'm 
going to hit her or try to hit her. Very good. So we are armor class four. Ballsy we move. To see if you hit. Oh, this is... We're Eight. all depending on you. Okay, very good. So. I had a new dice. And how much damage do you do with your longsword? Oh. Longsword, one second. Yeah. Okay, one second. Longsword is 1d8 plus 3, 1d12 plus 3. Yep, large. That's a large, yeah, but she's not large. Um, no. Roll me. Yeah, no, that's what I have. I have a long sword. I, and I really appreciate that, Damien. I mean, thank you very much. <laughs> roll me a d8, please, and add 3 to it and tell me the number. 42. No. 8. Okay, so Prometheus, you take eight in the back. I was wondering, who the hell is she hitting? Because everything else seems to go through this thing. Exactly. Yeah. Which takes us to <sighs> Prometheus. Yeah, I know. you're. Yeah, Don't worry. Everybody has hurt everybody in this game. So I, I throw my sword uh, and tell it to do. Ooh, up into the air? Okay, very good. And it starts dancing. And that takes us to... When it gets to attack. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, you know, normally you're correct. In this instance, uh, it's it's getting ready to attack. Which takes us to Levi. All right. So can you, can you fill in the visual for me? I, you know... I'll be happy to. Okay, so there's this very tall Medusa in the middle of the top of the tower. All right? In the middle and, of the top of the tower. Okay. And arrows have gone through her body to hit the other side of the tower. Okay? There, There's a very powerful ranger there attacking with all her might, but she has a blindfold on, and she Ooh. missed the Medusa and hit our good friend Cometheus right in the back. And then there's Cometheus, mm -hmm. who... Who cannot get hurt by this Medusa, but and has ordered Fever to fly up and start fighting the Medusa. Uh, okay, so so qu question. So Wordna is on, you know, is hovering somewhere in the air. Yes. Dr Drawn is on one of the outer crenellations. I'm yes. on one of the outer crenellations. Yes. Nick, I guess, had gone up to the Medusa. Nick is by the Medusa. Yes. No, he's not. I, I didn't where, think he was. Okay, where, let's find out. Where are you, Nick? I'm standing on the crenellation. I threw the sword and told it to dance. Oh, okay. So, 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 so how, did, do, how did that Yeah, man? yeah, I can't well, how do did it. I get him in the back? Right. I don't think he did. <laughs> Thank you. I had it positioned a little bit differently than everybody else, that's but that's okay. <laughs> I'm a big enough man that I can undo the eight points of damage I did to his back. Yeah. Aw, thank uh, you. Okay, so you're no, right now. Dammy is the only one that's close to the Medusa. Okay. So we're gonna start with Word now. Uh, let's see. I can't do. Doesn't seem to care about spells. Um, it doesn't care about arrows either. Doesn't care about control. Doesn't care about weapons. Doesn't care about much. Let's. Doesn't like being reduced. Doesn't like being controlled. Well, who does? Let's, uh, <laughs> let's see if we can find something uh, <laughs> I might like. Um, you could explore, explode I mean, a fireball right there, and like probably sure. get all of her, and of course the the ranger. That's just the risk no, the ranger takes. So, so since we s skip my turn, I, I'm gonna tell the ranger to back off, so I, so we can do things remotely to to this thing. Okay. I'm gonna clap, Jim. Yes. Um, so that turns me uh, wraith form, and uh, I'm gonna step onto the tower and look around the area and take a long look and see if I can find any source of power for this creature. Something mm -hmm. that's phase shifting it. Roll a six sided die on a four, five, or six, you're happy. With a four, I'm very happy. You you see four mirrors at her feet. That's okay. weird. Um Smash. That takes yeah. us to no, that takes us to Damia. Okay. Damia, well, did you listen to Levi and back off? Yes, I did. Would you like to do anything? 
Um, yeah, I'm going to ask, is it, can I take off my blindfold then? Who are you going to ask? I'm yelling it out to the group in general. Okay. Can I take off my blindfold? I no. Not high pitch. No. Got a big no. Okay. That takes us to Prometheus, the bold. Um, I'm going to tell the sword to attack the mirrors. Hmm. Roll me a six out of die. On a six, you're happy. <laughs> oh, great. I got a five. The sword doesn't see mirrors. Okay. Which takes us to Levi. Well, I'm going to use the force. And uh -huh. uh, do I detect anything at the base of the Medusa? No. Which takes us to Drawn the Holy. Hmm. Um... I'm going to cast Spiritual Hammer. Oh, I'm not going to like this, am I? And uh, I hit her uh, on a 18. It, it goes through her body and does no damage whatsoever. Even as a magical weapon? Yeah. Ooh. Which takes us back to our good friend, Wurna. I'm going to fire magic missiles into the mirrors. Use the first four of the missiles to destroy the mirrors. And what about the other magic missiles? I'll see if anything's uh, still standing after the mirrors are gone, and I'll fire them at what's left. Okay, now, my understanding of magic missiles is all six darts will go off at the exact same time, needing a target. So that was in the 1970s when we used rockets to fire from <sighs> planes, but now we have smart missiles. So the spell has been upgraded after Gulf. Gulf you know, Storm. I'm sure that I'm sure that <laughs> Weirdner is going to really love that concept and there upgrade these. Major but, missile. This, yeah. is, this is just <laughs> yeah. you did, uh, Jim. You need to read the the new guide. It says it's called Smart Magic Missile. Yeah, you know what? No, I don't because five E is an abomination that it no one wants to play. I, I would have accepted that answer, but I would have preferred, no, I don't, because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I would never say that to my good friend, Nick. So, so I'll, you, I'll, I'll use up my missiles and then... Thank um, you. Uh, okay, the mirrors all, are all destroyed, and the Medusa vanishes. Vanishes. Okay. Spellcraft, do I think she was destroyed, or do you think it was... Do I think it was an illusion? Uh, roll me a six-sided die. Tell me the number you get. One. You have no idea. Perfect. Which even takes us I, to... Even though I tried to disbelieve in the illusion? Right. Damia, what would you like to do? Take your blindfold off. Stop firing at us. I haven't been firing and, anything. And why is Weirdness saying that after using his whole turn up? Firing his... two segments of my turn left because I had already fired my missiles. Uh, take my blindfold off because there's really nothing I can do right now. With okay, all. very good. That takes us to Prometheus. Um, I'd like to look at the tower down in there, or we we can we can see in the tower, or we can see on the roof. You can see on the roof, and the roof has no trap doors or no egress egress into the egress. Yep, yeah. egress into the tower. Okay, I would like to search for secret doors. Okay, you don't find any, which takes us to Levi. Uh, well, I will uh, lower myself down to the ground floor again. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Yeah, don't touch that door. <laughs> Which takes us to Dron. Um, see if anybody's hurt. Anybody uh, take any damage? I, I wasn't able to hurt Prometheus like I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, yeah Damia's got a paper cut. I'll, I'll save door. it. I'll save it until somebody's yeah. actually got more than a paper cut. Yeah. Is in, in wraith form, he can just go down through the tower. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, go through That's the what door. he's gonna do. Okay. So is that what you're doing? You're in wraith form. Yes, I'll sink down through. You'll, you'll sink down. Okay. So now none of you other people can react to this. <laughs> okay. okay. You see, uh, you see a great Medusa sitting in a chair. Um, holding a mirror in her hand, and you get to make uh, a magic resistance save. Uh, because I have the gem of immune uh, from petrification, I'm just going to sort of stare at her for a moment and say, that wasn't very nice. Uh, no, no, no. Wait a second. The gem only works if you 
get turned to stone. Oh, okay. What about my gaze reflection? That is probably still up, but you don't have much of it left. Uh, 14, 15 rounds. We had three rounds of combat. So I we had decided, well, we did a little maneuvering. We did a okay. little moving. Let's say we used up 10 minutes of the 15 minutes. I am a slow maneuver. Okay. So I got five on me. Yes. You're good. So now what do you want? And can you toss spells in wraith form? Uh, there are some spells that I can. Most spells, no, but there are some. And some okay. Wraith. Very good. So can you, tell me you, what's going on with him? No, no, of course not. I'm mentally linked. Making... No, no, good question, but no. Okay. So is this? Uh, oh, never mind. I can't ask. Probably. Um, okay. Tell me about the room I'm looking at. She's sitting in a chair. She's holding a hand mirror. What yes. Else? Oh, it, it seems to be a, a well-appointed bedroom with a, a silk canopy bed, a couple really nice cedar chests, um, a desk and a and a big bench, and uh, a bunch of clothes. I'm hanging up in the corner. Werdna doesn't date, so it's nice to meet someone new. Yeah, I'll, exactly. I'll float down, um, looking okay. at her. There you uh, are. Is there, is there a gold door in this room anywhere? No, but she's quite disturbed by you. <clears throat> and I'm she throws that. open a chest, <laughs> and she pulls out this little spider amulet. Never a good sign. Um, I'll clap back and say, chill out, dickwad, and cone of colder. Cone of cold. Mm -hmm. That doesn't make me happy. No, it's 11d4 plus 11. Ow. Hmm. Greater Medusa, you said. All right. She's frozen. Okay. Um, uh, do I see a staircase going down? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to take out Reaper. Uh, and, and walk over to her and uh, uh, scream at her, feel the reaper, and, and do a, a triple uh, um, blind strike on her. She's hard as rock. Not for long. She's, she's frozen stone. She's cold um, uh, ice. So yeah, she's hard, hard as rock. But it's a dagger of striking. So with a triple charge, it should blow right through her. Oh, I think you're right. OK. So you, you, you chop off a bunch of pieces. That's interesting. Well, I'll make sure the most important piece, the biggest bit goes and chop off her head. Okay, and what are you going to do with the head? Uh, frozen, I'll just let it be for now, and then I'm going to go open the door, let everybody in. So you're going downstairs. Um, um, go downstairs, and do I see the door? Uh, you, you will when you get down to the first floor. Right now you're on the second floor, okay. and you see a Medusa sitting in a chair with a mirror in her hand. Again. And you and you have one melee round left of your spell. That's not good. Um, well, now we're we're not good with friends. Um, uh, I'll say can't touch this. Um, and so now at least there's five of me. Okay, she is very surprised and annoyed, and grabs grabs a little spider amulet out of a chest at her feet. And I'll say, you didn't see anything and wave my hand across my face. And what does that do? Uh, that's forget, so she won't think that I'm here. Is it the bad Star Wars reference? That's what Yeah, it really. No, it's the penguin from, uh, 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 whatchamacallit, Madagascar. Yeah, okay, so, so does she still see the other four images? No, 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 I just did. I just cast forget so that she doesn't know I'm here. And I'm just going to keep going down the stairs. Okay, so I'm with you there, buddy. But does she see the four? I can understand her forgetting you, but what about your four images? Well, if they're if they're all so basically, it says that the wizard mostly is um, a blurred, distinct thing that is difficult to distinguish. So I assume I just look like that uh, wavy image from a bad '80s film with uh, displacement. And so I'm okay. going to continue down the That's stairs. you, but what about the four images? Hmm. Guess I don't know how to answer. Well, um, is that mirror image? Yes, right. So well, mirror the, the mirror means that it's doing exactly what he's doing. Right. So yeah, we're all walking down the stairs and quick, mm -hmm. as fast as I can go. And okay, she tosses the little spider into the air. Okay. And it begins throwing long strands of glowing webs. Hmm. Around around you and your images, 
and naturally all four of the images are going to go next round and you get down to the bottom of the stairs and there's that great big golden door and a kitchen and a pantry and a marvelous reading room and uh, there's this weird head mounted on the wall and the head is uh, covered in a black silk bag <laughs> head in a bag that's probably Jeez. another medusa or something else what yeah. that could be um or worse, a Gorgon or my mother um, cooking. I don't know. Let's go. James, I have used the, the interim time this has all been going on to climb down to the bottom. Okay. I'm all for that. I'm You're assuming you, you, you put your down, put fever back in her, her sheath. Yes. Amy I did Damia did the same thing because all right, very good. Um I'm waiting outside the gold door. I will whisper quietly better than he was before. Now you know C, and I'll turn invisible. Okay. That's my third level version, so it's improved. So I can fight, turn invisible, fight, turn invisible, fight, turn invisible. All right, I don't have a problem with that. That's good to not have problems. Now what do you want to do? Open the door. Um, uh, look at the door. Um, does it look like a regular door? Nope, great big golden door with no latches. Because everybody got one of those. <laughs> totally normal. It's a double wide door. I have two at my house. Well, we all want to have a double wide someday, so I can appreciate the door. There we go. Yes. Um, now, wait a second. Walt, should we do any ads for anybody? Uh, well, we can talk about our premier sponsor, uh, Galaxy's Edge that brings us uh, brings us uh, this greatness every Friday at uh, at uh, twelve Pacific time. We do. We bring it to you every Friday at twelve Pacific time, and November is the month that we do Mission Twenty Two. That's why we did two streams today. So today is the last day. Anything that you donate to the link that Walt put up will go directly to Mission 22. There's some stuff over at GE that you can also do that's going to go directly there. And we're just all about uh, uh, veterans and the tough times that some veterans face afterwards can uh, be made better by playing D&D &D with friends or just having a good time or chatting or talking. But the main thing is reach out, get involved. You are not alone. Uh, you have a lot of friends with you. And those friends are right here to entertain you and have a good time. And that's how you play D and D. That's how. Okay, so there you are at the door. There, weirding in my good friend. What are you doing? I'm not going to fool around. I'm going to take out Scroll B as in Bravo and read Knock. All right. Then the door opens. Bunches of blades on both sides of the door um, flow out of the the framework of the door and try to kill anybody by the doors. And naturally, there's nobody there. And then the doors are wide open. All right, Cub Scouts, we got one more of these nasty things, and uh, Chrome, we're out of juice, so just be aware of that. I think we're going to have to try and find a distance deep fry. I've got a couple of those. Well, um, so we'll come into the first floor, all of us. There you are, nice kitchen, nice little living room. Toss grenade upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no grenade. You said there was a library. Can I search the library? There's a bunch of scrolls there, yeah. Oh, there are. Yeah. I missed that. Let's leave the bag on the head of whatever that is. Are there books or just scrolls? They're all scrolls. Do they look like Medusa scrolls or cleric scrolls? You know, greater Medusas are worth 4,000 experience points. Wow. We'll make friends with the other one in just a minute. Okay, so what do you want to do? Um, do they look like magic user scrolls or cleric scrolls? No, they don't just look like Greek scrolls. Greek scrolls. Yeah. Oh, Greek to me. Are there any hidden secret doors down here or anything if we do a search? That is a great question. Up, down, all around. Absolutely behind these scroll uh, shelves is a secret door. I would like to detect traps on it. Cool. Hmm. Roll me uh, your percentage chance for trap detection. 72. That didn't sound like you made it. Uh, it's pretty close. 
<laughs> you know, for government purposes. Yeah, okay, right. You didn't make it. So Hold on, I'm looking it up. Hold on. Uh, you don't have to look it up. 72 doesn't make it for anybody. 65 is what I needed. Yeah, great. What a shame for you. So I guess it's time to make a <laughs> another flesh to stone saving throw. Okie doke. As the Medusa appears in the doorway. 20. Well, that's disgusting beyond belief. So we're not, I'd like you to make your um, um, saving throw versus magic. Uh, I blew MR at 48. Okay, so now the other saving throw. Is this another at the minus two or do I have my bonuses? No bonuses. No minus bonus. two. Oh, sorry. Can you clarify too where the Medusa is coming from? Is it the one upstairs or was it one behind the secret door? It's behind the secret door. Oh, it's so it's Medusa number gosh knows how many. Do we uh, even did we're not even tell us about the one upstairs? Uh, I have not yet. Um, no. So where did you make your save? I did on the exact number. Okay, so. very good. Damia, please make a save. So I never I never opened my eyes. Yeah, you opened your eyes. You didn't make your save, huh? But I have the stone thingy. Yes. Oh, so it turns to dust. Right on. That oh takes us God. to Prometheus. I already made my save. Very good. Levi? And uh, I got a three. So my little stone goes poof. It turns to dust. Boy, this is really too bad. And our good friend, Drawn the Holy. You're muted, Boomer. You're still muted, Boomer. Boot, you're mu muted. This is uh, no bueno when this happens. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 17, all set. All right, very good. So there's a Medusa standing in the doorway. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Medusa will engage in blind fighting and carve her up. <laughs> uh, okay, so... With that all in mind, four, three, four, okay. So Prometheus, she wishes to engage in fighting as well, but she's not blind. So make a poison save. You just took six points. I made it. 13. Okay, you get to strike now. Okay, and I'm going to tell Fever to turn her to stone. Oh. <laughs> I hit. I didn't say if she turns to stone. Ah, I, was, I was so ready to attack. That is <laughs> 1,000 1, experience points for a good friend, Prometheus. Whoa! Bingo, bango, skank. Uh, okay. All Here right. we all are. What is Take behind the secret, the secret area? What does it look like? Looks like a corridor up some stairs. Uh oh. Well, uh, we or, need to deal with the problem at hand first. We well, have. Wouldn't upstairs go behind? I don't okay. understand the question, Nick. Well, wouldn't wouldn't upstairs if it's a secret door? Wouldn't upstairs take us up to the second level, into a secret area, possibly behind the big Medusa? Or or maybe they're magical stairs, and. They take you out of the tower to some other place. Let, let, and that's let, the other magical stairs let, from earlier. Let's clear out the tower and find yep. goodies first. Let's, right. I, I, you I, think there's any goodies in here? Maybe. Well, Fever, Fever told me where that there was stuff. Where is that stuff right now? Yeah. Shakedown, okay. man. So there, yeah, great. So there is a magical plus four bow. Oh, baby. I would love to have that. There is... Some robes. A coffer with 500 platinum. Ooh. So that's and, and there are four different robes that give you plus two on your armor class. Where are I these like things located? The, in the bedroom on the second floor. Okay. Of course right. they are. Right. I, I love those uh, robes. All the goodies. Women keep all the goodies in the bedroom. So, how do we deal with <laughs> Hard to know what to say, but okay. <laughs> yeah, really. How do we deal with the Medusa on the second level? Got to get yeah. over goodies first, but I think we can deal with her. Uh, maybe we'll give her a few goodies of our own. So, um, 
so wait a minute. The, the, the Medusa we killed came from the secret door and not from right. the stairs. That's yes. actually Medusa number four. Okay. So, um, so we got to go deal with second floor Medusa um, and see if we can give her what for. So right now she doesn't know that I was there. So before we go up there, though, uh, I, I guess one of the questions would be about that spider amulet. Is, is it still spinning webs and still active? Do we need to be cautious about that before we <laughs> go, go up there? Yeah, um, probably. Uh, I'm invisible, and I can um, provide also my invisibility 10 foot to get you, you all invisible. Are you That's still wraith form? Uh, no. I dispelled that, and I can't go back to it because I probably run out of time. All right, Jim. I assume. Uh, well, actually, has it been twenty minutes? I'm two rounds per level, so I've got twenty. I, I would love you to have run out of time. Oh, I see that. You okay. investigated everything around the area, and you so checked out the the magical stairs that you didn't go up for some strange reason, <laughs> and uh, and now you're talking about going right. to the second level and killing a Medusa with you having hardly any spells at all. Is it just a poor little Medusa that never hurt anybody? <laughs> you um, know, clearly you're playing too long with me, Nick. <laughs> um, so I'm going to, I can make you all invisible at least by doing the 10 foot radius one. That'll at least get you all uh, so we can go up there and get a, good popping before she goes. What well, do you I know, but even though you guys are invisible, if you're looking at her, you're going to get have to make your saves. Uh, blindfold. Uh, or I'm, I'm blind fighting, so I've, I've got my eyes closed. Yeah, and, yeah. I, and I'm using my natural invisibility anyway, so I should get uh, you know, the uh, uh, right. first, so first shot in. Can blind fight, which can I ask is this good. question? What do Medusas eat? <laughs> People. Pretty much it's anything. Sausages. But there's a, there's a kitchen here. Squirrel. Yeah, you want to check and see what the food is? Sure. What do we see? So you open the pantries and it's filled with pudding. We're going to close kind of that. Pudding? U.S. pudding or British kind of pudding? Yeah, I'm afraid it's deadly pudding. Right. We're going to keep that close. And there's a white one and there's a red one and there's five black ones in jars, big jars. Oh, oh I want to keep keeping those yeah. jars. Yeah, we're going to we're going to close that larder and uh, we'll save that for later. Okay. Can you do any kind of suggestion to her or anything? Can you? Yeah, I, I can use. I have one good power spell like that left. Okay. That's so what if I poison this pudding with the last of my cobra venom, and we and say was poison. Up, parties up. And, and, and you tell her. And you make. So, it what do you think is going to happen if you open one of those jars of pudding, Nick? Remember the 1950s movie Blah Blob. <laughs> yeah, remember? Okay, yeah. so what I'm trying to say is this. Let me, let me, let me, let me talk. Um, Andrew, if he has something that convinces her that she's hungry, we take a spoon and coat it with my cobra venom, and we put it invisibly at the top of the stairs. So she goes, oh, I'm hungry, sees the pudding, opens it with the spoon and eats it. And dies. You you can't make inanimate objects visible. No, how about that? No, we're invisible when we put it when we go up there and put it up there. It's a thought. Or or, or 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 if we just suggest for her to come down, leave that stupid amulet up there, and we just have a, the a spider amulet. Yes. So that's true. I could use the suggestion to do that. Um, and that way, we we just attack her and get initiative. Or you, all right? So, so maybe put your poison on one of the pudding jars, and we leave that one in the front of the others. Yes. You're putting it on the lid. Yes. Okay. Or on our arrows, or on the sword, or on the. Yeah, fever refuses to be poisoned. My my arrows don't. So we we poison the jar. So where are the paladins when I need them? Right, Obviously he's on break. We're not here. And then and then we withdraw. You know, stack around the outside of the wall, the wall. You hit her with a suggestion. She comes down and eats it and dies. 
Wouldn't that be nice? Let's hope that happens. Yeah, sometimes a plan works. Well, and I've got two options because if that doesn't work, we can big deer and that may work too. So we'll, we'll start with the suggestion. Okay. So, um, I'm going to walk up the stairs while he's doing that action, Jim. Okay. The top of the stairs are filled with glowing spiderweb threads. Hmm. I figured. Let me see what my range is. So Nick, do you do you have enough uh, poison to tip a couple of arrows? Uh, because uh, I'm hoping she's coming down. I can hit her easy. Yes, I do. I have some arrows too, so we can do both shoot her. Sure, Jim, whisper at the top of the stairs. Jim, everybody loves poison now. Yeah, you notice that? Oh my goodness! It is the weapon of women throughout history. <laughs> hmm. And it is the gift that keeps on giving, just like COVID. Okay, uh, so what are you going to try to do, Andrew? I'm going to whisper, snack time. Okay, you're snack casting time. a spell through the webs. Uh, I have a 30-yard range, so I can be on the staircase. Hey, James, that, that's what bothers people when you say, like, so you're doing this thing that's going to get you killed. Yeah. <laughs> I just, just want to so, give you some tips about being a what, DM. What's, what's your point? Um, so, yes, Jim, my range can easily do that without being in the webs. You're causing okay. players anxiety, Jim. <laughs> really? What a good idea. I support this plan. Um, so the spider web glows a little bit, and you clearly did not succeed in your spell. You're saying that the webs provide magic resistance. I might be saying that. I'm not sure. It all depends on what you think. Is How about the cleansing power of fire? Uh, How about it? Well, let's, uh, hang on. We don't need to get all excited yet. Um, looking around the room, is everything covered in webs or just the staircase area? Just the staircase going up. Oh, okay. and of course, the uh, the scroll door to the secret area uh, is pushed open and uh, a large Medusa is there. So let's start with Drawn the Mighty. Would you please make a save versus? Wait, don't we get like, don't we get like a roll for initiative or something? Our, our, you know, okay. So here's here's what's Nobody happening. Has initiative apparently. You have become surprised. No, we haven't I rolled know. for surprise. But, but hang on one second. Uh, okay. Uh, is is yeah. the Medusa aware that anyone's there because they're currently invisible? Oh, that's too bad. Everyone's invisible, and I'm doubly <laughs> invisible, and I've got my eyes closed. All right. Yeah. Okay. So the Medusa. <laughs> The Medusa walks into the room and looks around and then walks point. walks back and closes the door. Okay. Save that tidbit for later. Um, I'm going to uh, say bink, 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 and I'm going to blink uh, into the room behind the webs. And my suggestion lasts for uh, basically half a day, 10 hours. Mm. So I'm going to whisper. Uh, so she's got the life. munchies for days? Huh? Uh, I, can, I can definitely give you guys sweet nothings for days, at least hours. Okay, um, so you become <laughs> visible, of course. Uh, it's not an attack. I'm giving a suggestion. A suggestion okay. is not considered a combat action. Yeah, James, that's how you D&D. &D. Yeah, you just wait a second. I believe since you're trying to do something to the Medusa's detriment, it sounds like an attack to me. When is, when is eating pudding ever be a detriment? If uh, there was pudding right now, her. you'd eat it. It's just giving her a hunger pang. Yeah, that's not a detriment. The question is a fact. Yeah, what? People I would it. say the periodic nutrition table of the USDA and a bunch of other words would say. Yeah, okay, why do you think the pudding is eaten by Medusas? Because they're hungry. And Bill Cosby says pudding is good for you. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> now, now I'm going to say. About, we just want a Cosbier. I'm going to say right. that. So um, what are you using to not be turned to stone, weirdo? Uh, uh, um, uh, like Bon Jovi said, living on a prayer. So I believe it's time to roll some magic resistance. No, he doesn't have to. He has it again. He has, no, he turned that one to dust. No, no, no. He swallowed a gem. The uh, state versus petrification. My, my MR is zero five. Okay, so it sounds good. Did you swallow a gem that stopped you from being petrified? No, it's poison death. So sorry, yeah, I had the yeah. wrong one. Well, I thought okay. it was... Yeah. All right. Anyway, so you're fine. There's a Medusa there. And so I, so I whispered to it that. Uh, yeah, it made it, it made it save and ignored you. Okay. 
No, well, you can, do it, you can keep yes, doing it. Right? What? Which takes us to Damia. Okay, so I'm downstairs still. Yes, ma'am. Can um do I notice that the door is still open? Yes, ma'am. No, the, Wait, door, the door is closed. Door is closed. Door is closed. No, the golden door is open. The golden door is open. The but secret door is closed. Yes. Secret door is closed. Okay. Just trying to get my bangs. Um, sure, that's fine. It's not the time to do anything. We're, we're, yeah, we're, I mean, there's really like nothing much I can do other than the stairs right now, here. waiting for. Yeah. Uh, comes, I I get the poison from Nick and uh, dip a couple arrowheads in it. If she okay, comes very down, good. That takes us to Prometheus. If she comes down the stairs, we're closing our eyes and waiting for, until she goes to the pudding. Okay, very good. That takes us to Levi. I pour a bit of uh, blessed holy oil on the stairs. Don't do that. Mm. No. Okay, he did it. You can't tell him not to after you've used up your turn, Nick. Which takes us to John the Holy. Tell him not to do that. <laughs> John, you, you are an evil character. You know that? I am the bright and shining light of Horus. My yeah, yeah, entire yeah, mission okay. is to protect these so, souls. So, Levi, you're told not to do that. Are you going to do it anyway? We don't want them to uh, sense an attack. All right, fine. We'll stay We'll stay hidden. Okay, very good. Kind of the purpose of the invitation. So, what are you doing, Weirdna? Um, I'm going to keep whispering, and if my suggestion gets reasonable, the penalty gets excessive. So, it should yeah. be minus two this round. Yeah, so nothing, I, nothing she's happens. A woman. She's a woman. Women are snacky. Yeah, okay, great. <laughs> nothing snacky. happens. What do you do to not be turned to stone? Um... Well, I can whisper my suggestion with my eyes closed. Um, let's see. Uh, actually, I'm going to spend my round looking around to see if there's any other sources uh, of power or see if she's still holding that hand mirror. There's a little spider spinning away, making bigger and bigger corridors of webs. Okay. Um, I will uh, say to it, Freeze it and uh, uh, try and hold monster on it. On the on the spider. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Minus five, single object. Okay, it's held. Okay. That takes us to Damia. I'm just going to continue waiting for her to come down. Okay, very good. Takes us to Prometheus. Waiting. Okay, takes us to Levi. I'm waiting. Takes us to Drawn the Holy. I'm uh, while I'm waiting. I'm typing several emails to uh, the gods to have them. <laughs> no, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Okay. Uh, all right. She just sits there with the mirror in her hand, looking at you, Wordna. And it's well, your turn. It's your I am because I'm invisible. So right. Yeah. No, I'm with you. It's okay. your turn again to resist being turned to stone. Oh. Wait a minute, doesn't he have his eyes closed? I, he didn't tell me he was closing his eyes. Uh, I thought, I, yeah, he did last it's, round. I thought you were looking around for the spider, and then you held the spider. That's there. what you did last turn. There we go. Uh, 17. Still All good. right. What do you want to do? Uh, I'm, I'm going to give her um, my last Houston fence and blow out the mirror. <laughs> Funny, damn you. Are you, what are you going to do with the mirror? Uh, destroy it. Okay, it's destroyed and she vanishes. Hate them. Which takes us to Prometheus. Just waiting. And Levi? Same. And John the Holy. I'm on a stakeout, waiting. Okay, very good. You didn't ask Seska. So I, I know because I know exactly what she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Which takes us to Weirden at the top of the stairs. Um, uh, taking a quick look around. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. The spider artifact, what does it look like? Looks like a little amulet, a little spider amulet. Okay. Um, and do I see the, the robes? Yeah, of course you do. So wait a minute. So it's affected by hold uh, hold monster. The spider yeah. amulet, yes. 
Isn't that weird? Um, Not weird at all. No, it, right. It meets it meets monster classification. Um, uh, but she is not visible, uh, looking around for invisible objects anywhere in the room. No, he's gone. Right, I assume. Don't know where though, or don't know what the power source was, unless the real one was the one behind the secret doors. You you see some mirrors down at the foot of the bed. Okay, smash those mirrors, break them all. Okay, they're smashed. Okay, which takes us to Tamia. You know what I'm going to do. I'm waiting for her to come down the stairs still, right? Okay, yeah, she's not there anymore. Wordness says, hey, she's dead. Okay, so since we are down to the last 10 minutes of the show. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. What we need to do is loot this place and then return to well, uh, all, uh, all's well. Is that what it's called? Well, you're well, teleported. Yeah. That's the problem. You don't know where it is. Well, well, then we can still teleport out, so we should be fine. Okay, yeah. very good. So, so we would like to loot this place, Jim. Of course you would. So looting is no problem. The the plus four magical bow is five thousand experience points. The so is it just plus four to hit, plus four to damage. What's just the plus four to hit? And, and the, the four cloaks are two thousand experience points each. And they're just plus two to the AC. Yes. Hmm. Cloaks of protection. They also affect your save. Yes, absolutely. And then there's that. Uh, the coffer. Yes, there's the 500 platinum in the coffer. Got it. Which is, which is the same. Yeah. And we we effectively get credit for two medusas. Two of the greater medusas. We get yes, two, two at four thousand apiece. Okay. And I think there's still one red gem left, isn't there? Um, Drum got did it. Not have to save. He made the save, so it did not go. Okay, so we got we got three we used up, so we don't get experience for them. You don't get experience in the burn. On the burn, like because if you use they burn them, up, because you, so you, you just you, like consuming a potion when you get the experience for consuming a potion or reading a scroll, they actually use the function. So I would argue that that means they did it right. All right, I'll give you a thousand for each red gem that turned to dust. Oh, thank you, Jim. Oh, that hurt him. And how much for the how did. much for the one that's still here? Ooh. That's that's worth five thousand if you sell it. And uh, James, if we thoroughly search the tower, like yes. you asked us to, do we miss anything? No. Okay, then I think Word Verna would teleport us back. I will. Um, uh. Uh, if I cold pack those uh, uh, jars of glorious pudding, uh, can I do that carefully enough to take with? Yeah, sure, not a problem. I well, warn him about the poison. Uh, right, <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave that one right where it is, and okay. I'll, take, I'll take the other side. So you're taking a red one and a white one and four black ones. Yes, sir. Okay. Mmm, pudding. Oh, <laughs> the, Bill Cosby's favorite. Yes. We're going to make some pudding pops out of them. Okie dokie. Very good, gentlemen and ladies. You did a terrific job, as usual. Thank you, Jim. you the what man. Did, are, our, uh, are our subscribers saying anything, Walt, my good friend? Uh, they're saying uh, that uh, looting is gooding. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shadow uh, had said that, uh, that we should have made some poison tea, and uh, uh, there must have been a draft coming from upstairs by now. Um, that was uh, in regards to earlier when she wasn't coming down. Uh, Knight of Barsoom had used his uh, special uh, uh, subscriber-only emojis to uh, 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 tell J.R. Handley what a cool dude he was. So yeah, there, was, <laughs> there was some uh, shenanigans. Uh, he also used the uh, the pirate Nicole emoji. Yeah. Which, right? That's how you D&D. &D. That is exactly how you D&D &D with pirate Nicole. All right. Well, thank you guys ever so much for, for playing. Seska, please come back anytime. You are a boatload of fun. Uh, thank you. JR's going to have fun. a lot to live up to. Uh, <laughs> and, and just thank you. Thank you, Jim. And uh, how was your Thanksgiving, Jim? It was very good. I, I ate with a family. Saw all my little grandkids, and I love all six of them. So that was good. Very cool. We watched, right. um, um, what was the name of it? Queen's Gambit. 
It's oh, a, that's so good. It is so good. It's a seven series um, show about a female chess player who destroys the Russian chess players. Uh -huh. Very famous chess player. She's fantastic. She I treated I treated Nicole to Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, oh nice. Yes. Yeah, that's Excellent. a fun one. And I can that's report. A classic. Yeah, I can report. Like, there's some '80s movies that don't hold up. Big that Trouble one. still holds up. Yes, it still, really does. Yes. You can release it now, and it's fine. Yeah, it's great. All right. All well, right. We'd like to thank uh, our marvelous chat for busting our nuggets and scaring the crap out of me with sound bites. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, we'll catch you next time when sci-fi writers play old school D&D. Yeah.